Okay. Uh, we live? Okay. Uh, we live? Fantastic. Uh, had a lovely little unconsenting Windows update and restart on my computer, and then the microphone wasn't detecting anything, and then after fixing that, uh, Streamlabs had for some reason changed the microphone device as well, probably because I unplugged it trying to fix it. It doesn't work when I put it on the default mic, but here we are. Fat boy not so slim, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Stream's working now, indeed it is. Ah... Uh... Uh, so last time we more or less fixed our uh, throughput of... Uh-oh, what's this? Oh, it's just not balanced. Uh, last time we more or less fixed our throughput of Vulcanite, or at least drastically improved it. Um, would I ever want Vulcanite, enriched Vulcanite, to get picked up by a short train? Let's see. Delivery can capsule. Uh, this recipe we're picking up from. Blast cake. Well, I don't think so. Um, and the rate that we get... Uh, enriched vulcanite from here is quite slow. So I think it's fine if we just limit it to these two. It can... Uh, it can have a whole other half of a train load queued up as well, if this ever saturates. So that should be fine. Got a rough plan for this stream, or just bottleneck fixing? Uh, we did a bunch of bottleneck fixing last time. I hope we, I hope we don't have to focus on that today. We've got energy control unit. That's just a prereq. Uh, being researched. Some robot speed. Particle collider. Energy one. Uh, we've started our space rail blocks. Uh, one thing I definitely want to get done today is a good mall in space. Phone Astra, here we come. Yeah, five minutes. Or well, space elevators first. Uh, I think space elevators first. What does it take to even get to Phone Astra? Just spamming lots and lots of, uh... I can't even remember the name of it. Um, Astro Science. Here it is. Zone Discovery. Is it Deep Space Zone Discovery that finds Foenestra, or just Zone Discovery? I think it's regular. Uh, but regardless, uh, bottlenecks are more or less fixed for the moment. Is this the same issue? Oh, I. Wait, what? Ride stack threshold 80. Wait for 4k. How did this happen? I need to see that in action next time. How do we end up with half a train full here? Probably need to rethink that. Okay, so what should we do next? Um, I'm thinking I'd like to jump up into orbit and build uh, the mall in space. Um, I could do it remotely, it's just going to be a bit tricky. But maybe we shouldn't let that stop us. We need some locomotives anyway. I should jump into an uh, editor extensions for this, maybe. Uh, it's probably fine. Um... So, much like our other malls, I want to have... Well, where's our most recent one? That's probably a better iteration. 
on Gibil. This isn't going to work so well with the uh, space manufactories that I want to have. Like six of them for the auto crafter. This is going to be in the way, I think. Or I could do it over here, I guess. Um, we're not going to have any cargo rocket silos at the Moldo. Maybe just a landing pad. Do we have one? We should do. We don't have a landing pad. Maybe I should just put together some stuff to take up there personally. Noxyway Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and let's get our inventory rearranged. I could be super lazy and put stuff in a cargo rocket. Hmm. Well, for the moment, let's do a little design over here. Um, we'll use the space rail block. I think I can put down space assembly machines here. But it won't let me put down a cargo landing pad. Yeah, there we are. Okay, uh, I should still have the auto crafter from before. Do we want to try and make an improvement on it though? That really is quite big. That is very big. I wonder if we could build a few of them around um, a big container or two. So the biggest we've got is 6x6. Six six. We'll want a buffer warehouse. Probably the same kind of layout as we did uh, for this mall, only different. Make it vertical, 6 high, maybe. That'll fit around the train stations better, perhaps. Uh, let's have a look. So, these machines are so big that we can't even... really... I could do, like, a... like a spiral design, I guess. I kind of like that. We could maybe just do four... Instead of six. I hope that's enough to eventually get around any prerequisite issues with brute force. Um, we might want some stack inserters. Output. Um, I think we did the same thing here. Yes, we did. I might even steal the logic from this one. Make this a little bit easier. Um, yeah, that might be the way to go. Because we don't... Uh, that way we don't have these really small containers requesting things. Probably a good idea to output to purple chest, actually. Well, then again... Oh, I can't actually fit... If I want to do... Oh, there aren't actually any belts coming out of this one. We're using the bots. If I put, like, a purple... chest up here... Sorry, a blue chest first. Probably doesn't need to be that big, actually. Well, it doesn't hurt. So, we're gonna go... Oh, we, we have to use space belts this time. Uh, and we're gonna request... Oh, we're gonna read from this and request everything... into the blue chest, minus whatever is supposed to be there. Nun Maze O, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, 
And then we've got negatives, no, positives. Wait, what? No, these are all negative. Did I miss one? Or did I just misread? I think I mis must have misread it somewhere. Yeah, this is a negative. It's just hard to see with the furnace. Okay. Um, I might just copy this. The basic layout of it anyway. So, negative a million for anything that's in the purple chest, so we don't move things from here to here. Um, negative however much we're allowing in here for whatever's supposed to stay in the buffer warehouse. And that'll just be prerequisite things. Um, we will be needing... Uh, this kind of layout to set different recipes. Let's see how we can make it fit. Probably pretty well. Hmm, I'm kind of having trouble keeping track. What is that? Wait, what? Oh, I see. Much confusion. Uh, why don't I just start with... this example. Signal separator. So it's all these signals. Uh, let's get some power. Uh, all these signals. Anything greater than zero goes here, times negative one goes to the next one, and basically rinse repeat. So that times negative one there is kind of like this one sticking out. That's kind of confusing. So we're going to want the anything signal to go to the crafting combinator. Don't discard fluids. Don't discard items. Uh, overflow chest behind. Keep crafting until zero. I don't think it's going to matter. Empty inserter's hands. Seems a good. Now how do I how do I work this layout? But negative one goes to these two. It actually is kind of a better layout, I think. Uh can we swap those two around? Look a bit neater. Alright, so you go here and also to the negative one in front of you. Let me just move these out of the way for a sec. Uh, and that red wire would go all the way across there. Well, that's not actually connected in such a way that that couldn't just be one wire. Maybe make it a little bit neater. I could put the negative one down here. So that goes to those two. Uh, what's the green from? The green is everything else that we're passing through with the times one. 
Uh, where's the times one? Here it is. So... That goes there. And this gets out of there. That might be about as neat as we could possibly make this. Uh, except it's not going to go around in a circle indefinitely. And we'll probably start up here. So if we have a constant combinator and we set some recipes, let me just see what this can do. Gear, stick, barrel, single cylinder. Okay, and we've got a memory cell by accident, uh, because this one... Which one did I remove over here? Oh yeah, both of these could be removed, and it should be fine. Uh, so once Crafting Combinator updates within 30 seconds, we should hopefully see uh, one recipe for each of these. Fantastic. That's looking pretty good, actually. So now we just need what we want minus what's in the robot network. Uh, to come to this spot right here. Yeah, so that's all stuff we've done before. I'm not going to bother with the priority system. It's not that good. Uh, and then we'll have to start adding prerequisites. Anything that's allowed to stay in this uh, buffer warehouse we'll have to add as a static request and put a limit on it uh, expressed with a negative with the constant combinators up here. But that should be fine. So we're going to set quests, read contents, and that's basically it. Could I fit it so that we have some nice symmetrical roboports, perhaps? Oh, those are in a slightly tilted pattern. That's fine, I guess. Um, but where would be good for this thing? Whoop. Nope. Try again. Third time's a charm. There we go. Uh, and where did this go? From here to here? I kind of feel like separating those wires just, just to show that they're different and that this isn't affecting this. And then all of our constant combinators um, uh, I guess green is fine actually. No, we did do that. Yeah, uh, those can go here. Except we may as well just get rid of that red wire. And go there. A little bit easier to read, I guess. Okay. And we've got plenty of room to add some more if we want. Oh. We're going to need a construction train in space. Uh, it would probably be good to start 
with our design down here. It's been rather effective. Um, but we're not going to have a station to take away the trash because we're already in the mall. And we won't need a drop off from the mall. Or I guess we might need a drop off from some other places. That makes a lot of sense, but it doesn't have to be right there. So I think I'll just be stealing this, basically. Uh, how about we just copy paste, jump back into the editor, and figure out now we're going to translate this across over here. Um, it definitely doesn't need that many signals, because there's only going to be the one train down there. Let's get rid of this rail so we can copy-paste. Uh, we won't be able to have the blue belts, and I don't think we'll be needing... Well, I might keep this one. But won't be needing this, though. What's this? That's oh, what we've already got. Okay. Just copy paste up here. Wait, what? Oh, I confused myself. Okay. Obviously, we won't be having windmills in space. Definitely a fan of this layout. It's been working rather well. Um, although we'll obviously be tweaking what the train is going to be asking for. Um, on occasion I might have to take some stuff out of these, if I change what we're putting in. Yuck, I don't like that icon. Loaders, underground, make it 500, and splitters. Well, this, tweaking this is not the important part of designing it right now. Alright, we're gonna have some loaders, like sodas. And space belt. And... Oh yeah, we will be potentially needing this. Unless we want to move that station. Um, except this will be... I don't think we will put this station here. This is this is the mall. We're not gonna be having another requester. Probably put the drop off up north for that one. Uh how many is this? Eight? Just want to see where the middle is. Can't really do it on this side. Uh, can we put this exactly in the middle? I believe we can. Okay. Like. 
Look at this. Fantastic. Double check that one. Nice. Uh, we'll need a cargo landing pad. Let me just measure it. I think it's 11 by 11. Or is it 9 by 9? There it is. 9 by 9. Okay. So, I'll just mark a space for it. Nine by nine. Um, it can't actually be symmetrical, but if we put it here... It's a decent approximation. Why are we not placing stuff right now? Do I need to have it in my inventory? That's weird. Did I hold shift? Maybe I did. I don't think I did. Uh, regardless, we'll have probably drop-off station up here. For all things that are going to supply them all. Uh, let's see. Standard requester... And I do want to have a pickup station uh, for whenever we get an excessive amount of something in the mall. I want to be able to put it into a long train. How about here? Okay. Uh, one, two, three, two, uh, we need some bulk rail unloaders, there they are. And not bulk rail loaders for this one, it's going to need some precise inputs. Uh, probably requester? And I still haven't really done a double version of this. But I think if we want to supply anything with the mall specifically, it should probably just be with a short train. So I might even just use this same design. We'll have a think about that. Or I could literally just copy-paste it over here and put the drop-off up here. Just like we did before. Why not? Let's be consistent. Uh, it's sort of a little inconsistent with a different aesthetic we've gone with. But uh, that's okay. Uh, I note my inventory space has been changing and I've dropped some stuff on the ground. Let's just fix that up. Oh, wow, we've actually been... We've dropped 500 laser turrets. Um, all right then. Might want to might want to avoid that happening again if we can help it. Uh, let's make our inventory a bit smaller and stop with the requests for the moment. Back to the editor, get rid of the rail. So this will be our provider station to the rail network. 
and we'll have a request uh, up here. Um, what's our coverage like? Let's get some RoboPods all the way over here. And I might set those as construction only. Um, does that actually copy the con- it doesn't. I don't know if blueprints copy it either, to be honest. Uh, but the idea is we've at least got decent coverage to start with against rocket crashes. And a relatively small logistic network, I guess. Um, we're going to want... Purple chest for the cargo landing pad. And that's actually looking pretty good for now. What else could we possibly want at the mall? We've got drop off, pick up, construction train loading, construction train unloading. Um. Auto crafter. And we've still got a bunch of spare space to add things. We're going to need a fluid drop off uh, because the one fluid that we do put into the space manufactories is cosmic water. Uh, let's figure out how that's going to look. rocket fuels? Return rocket? Uh, yeah, that might be not the worst idea, actually. We could have all the cargo rocket sections come back to the mall. Um, we're not going to send cargo rockets from orbit to other places, at least not yet. So for now, I think just having a cargo rocket silo in the mall. Probably probably here, just like what we've done over this way. I don't see why not. We should probably just copy this. Uh, how about like this? Except without the regular rail. And not whatever this is. At least not yet. So that's going to go... it's a little hard to see, but that's going to go there. Fantastic. What's this station? This is returning stuff to the mall. Uh, I think we may as well put that in the same spot as well, actually. Uh, so let's get rid of the regular old rail. Okay, added a little bit too much, maybe. There we go. Um, and that would mean station signals like this. And that's not quite right. We'd need one over here as well. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait. One, two, three, four. Hold on. What did I do over here? Oh, I, oh, we're combining two different blocks. Right. Of course. Uh, we might have to move this one. One, two, three, four. 
Then again, um, do these like overlap? They do. That's actually a bit of a problem. Also, with the construction train, I think we settled for three cargo wagons. Um, so we won't actually be needing this one. Don't think we need that either. But these should be the same. We might want to keep this. So, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. The thing is, I could have the construction train come in here to get emptied to get its inventory reset, and then come over here. Like, that's what we are doing. Uh, I would like to say construction train can just drop off here and then wait here, but like... I need... I would need a signal here, I think. Is that okay? Would this train still be able to stop here? I think it could. Or, or I could just... If I put this here, I don't think... I don't know if the train can stop there. Or can it? Let's find out. Um, so try putting a signal right about there. And then it wouldn't be able to fit here. But if we send it there anyway... I think it'll basically ignore that signal. Like, it'll still stick out over here. Okay. That was easier to deal with than expected. Time for space trains? Yes, indeed. Cool. That was a good experiment. Uh, so we can just put a signal here, like usual. And our five-length train is gonna park here, empty itself, and then move forward and be out of the way of this guy. Fantastic. Okay. Um... Apparently... Oh, we don't have power, that's why. Looks like we should have coverage for all of these chests. Fantastic. Why do you empty the construction train? Because sometimes the bots pick things up. Uh, it won't be the case with the space rail, but a good example down here is they pick up stone and coal, or maybe I had them deconstruct something, um, whatever the case. Uh, the bots are trying to bring things back into the construction train sometimes, uh, and that messes up our whole system for loading it precisely. Um, I could... I think I thought about this already, uh, and decided this was better. Uh, I could maybe make a system that removes anything that's not... Yeah, 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 no, I remember now. So if we were dealing with just one cargo wagon, I could program this uh, filter inserter to remove whatever we've got in the cargo wagon that's extra. But because we've got multiple cargo wagons, we don't know what's in them. We know what's in the entire train, but we don't know what's in individual cargo wagons. Um, so that makes it a lot more complicated, uh, to remove excess stuff. Especially when we've got, like... How did you end up with extra construction bots? That's clever, didn't think of that. I mean, you would run into it, even if you didn't think of it. 
Um, but yeah. Uh, not Steel Mage, sir. Noxyway Gaming, if I didn't say so. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Uh, so I think that is almost everything. For our space mall, right? Um, we'll need some substation pylons, of course. And over here as well. Whatever, it's going to be a bit of a mess. Um, and how about substation pylons like so? It's like in a reverse of a reverse direction of where all these other ones have got the substations. I could move this, I guess. I kind of like that better. And then... That needs to go... Here. Also, while we're at it, why don't we just take advantage of this same... Um, active provider chest to empty the cargo landing pad. Okay, um, and I'll just double check, but we should have room for the cargo rocket silo plus its loading stuff right about here. Shouldn't be too bad. Seems a good. Alright, so I want the substation pylons like this, I think. That's kinda neat. Or at least as close as we can get. That one also needs power. Could I do it like this? That's looking better. Okay. Oh, and don't forget the substations to power the robopods. That's about as neat as we're going to get, I think. Uh, I forgot I was trying to figure out the layout for the fluid input. Um, we should already have pipe. Yeah, we can use whatever pipe we want. Well, regular space pipe. I don't suppose there's any, like, advanced space pipe later on. Doesn't look like it. Um, and I'll just double check, but I'm sure we can't use steel underground pipes upstairs. Okay, so we're going to have these nasty things looking a little something like this. How's that going to fit together? Is that a 3B? I think one of them's two. I could make it 3Bs on both sides. And is that pattern going to hold? Wait, what? Uh, yes, I believe it is. That doesn't look too bad, I guess. And we need a drop off for, um, whatchamacallit, uh, cosmic water. And we might want some lubricant as well. I think we can... I think we can't make space belt on the ground in this version, right? Yeah. 
sure you need cosmic water in your auto crafter. I thought you only needed lube for gel. Uh, we need cosmic water to make more auto uh, to make more space manufactories. Um, it's actually like the number one thing um, that we need. The, the the one fluid that we need for a few things. Or at least that's how it. Wait, what? Uh, that's that's how it played out last time. Uh, we needed to make space manufactories and I guess chemical gel, but we're not doing that here. Life support canister? I didn't realize we could do it with cosmic water. I don't think we'll do that. Is it really just the big machines? I guess so. Uh, on the other hand, lubricant. Uh, is needed for... Advanced exoskeleton. Big electric motor. Well, we shouldn't make those here. Uh, space belt... Um, deep space belts as well. I'm thinking maybe we should have a dedicated build for the for the belts. Maybe not. Oh, we need it for heavy assembly, heavy bearing. No, those can be made on the ground. Uh, I think we skipped using prods for heavy assemblies last time, because there's so few of them that we need to make. Heavy bearing we'd want to do on the ground for prod modules. Um, so it's really just space belts. Multi-spectral mirrors need lube. Yeah, we're not going to make that at the mall, though. Uh, I don't think. We'll have a rail block to make those. Telescope. Yeah. Um, technically, we could swap the fluids, but that's obviously a pretty big pain. Or I could just have a single machine dedicated to making uh, the big assemblers. I think that might be better. I am surprised to see that it's literally just one thing that would that we'd be using the cosmic water for, unless we use it to make uh, life support. Okay, so we could just have like. Space assembly machine somewhere to make the big space assemblers. Um, in which case, probably just put it nice and close to this. Something like that. And lubricant for this one. Um, how about... I don't even need that big of a container for this. Um, let's just get a couple of smaller ones. Large storage tank. Actually, could we go with this? This is one way we could have double fast unloads. And I guess like that. I mean, yeah, if we go the old vanilla way, we could have super fast unloads, but that's really not necessary. Um, we'll need to check which fluid 
by picking up here. Why don't we do it like this? Because that's going to leave one combinator unpowered. How about this? That looks a bit neater, I think. Anyway, red wire to these. So we'll have our lubricant here. That should be a good fit. Oh, it's one off. Uh, how about a seven? It's a nine, actually. Seems okay. I might just put some undergrounds if that gets in the way of something. Um, so yeah, is that our mall, more or less? Um, we'll want active provider chests to unload these. And some storage, of course. Um, as much as I hate the way it looks, uh, the smallest storage chests are the most dense. So we'll just go something like this. In fact, just, just go for it over here. Uh, that whole space might need more combinators, theoretically. So... Oh yeah, we haven't done this part yet. Um, but it's just going to be a bunch of constant combinators for stuff we want. Uh, minus what's in the robot network. Which we should probably do each greater than zero. Because of the way it gives us negative signals sometimes. Uh, and then times negative one. I've actually got a times negative one right here. But I don't think I can, like, hijack it, if that makes sense. Take advantage of it. Okay, so that goes there, that goes there, that goes there. Connect all of these. And we'll have positive numbers for what we want the autocrafter to make. Fantastic. Um, and I'll leave these spaces in case we want more combinators or something. In which case... No, that's fine. Alright. Seems a good. Anything else? Don't think so. Well, we're going to find out. Let's copy paste this. Oh, I think my blueprint has some extra stuff. Let's see. Yeah, it does. Right click. And it should be Dunsky. Where is it? There we go. Also, did we... Did we include some scaffolding here? Uh, tiles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we should probably add some scaffolding. I mean, I'll probably just scaffold the whole thing for the mall. Wait, we already did that, didn't we? E yes. That should be fine. Alright, so let's copy-paste. Up to space. Uh, gonna have to move most of those, I think. Let's just mark them for decon. Oh, this is going to have to change. And 
and this is different as well. And I think this is also. Let's just let's just remove all of that. We'll also need some scaffolding right about here. The corners with the substations to power uh, the roboports will already be covered. And I think that's about it. Decon that. Copy paste. Uh, space rail is in the way. Left click, no shift. Cannot build on empty space because they haven't placed this yet. That should be fine. Here seeing walnuts. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How much ha power are you getting in Hagen orbit? Uh, from the regular solar panels, 111 kilowatts each. Total of 82.7 megawatts. So now the question is how much of this can we build uh, without some further intervention? Still better than on Nalvis? Uh, yeah, probably. Well, yeah, I mean, the individual solar panels are 11% stronger than the best you can get on Nalvis, uh, like, during the day. Oh, and this right here is going to be a landing pad. I guess we could hijack our existing landing pad. As long as we're not about to send a rocket there. Which we are not. Uh, should just be able to deke on that. Yeah, that should be fine. Um, and we'll need the same logic transmitting back downstairs as well. Oh wait, is that going to empty the rocket? Uh, I think it would, but I turned off that feature for now. Okay. Looks like the landing pad should get finished. Um, and for the moment, I'll put this in normal mode so that we can get one big robo-network um, as far as logistic uh, talking goes. I don't think we actually have any space belt, do we? We do, but we don't have any splitters, undergrounds, or, in this case, loaders. Okay. I'll give that a minute and see how much of it is waiting on something else. What can we do in the meantime? How's the Vulcanite looking? This one's always quiet, but... What about this? It's going at full speed. Fantastic. Why don't we look at the graphs? Vulcanite. Last hour. That's looking pretty consistent. That's looking very consistent, actually. Very, very nice. Alright. Is it just about time that we go upstairs? I could load a whole other cargo rocket. Um, I 
Oh yeah, do we have a... I don't think we do. Cargo anything. Oh wait, we did set this up already. Here it is. This is for sending cargo rocket sections back. Um, but we'll kind of have to move it. Eventually. Alright, we don't have long pipe. Uh, we don't have some warehouses. We don't have a 2x2 two two active provider. We're missing one space manufactory. We don't have crafting combinators. Uh, these are all exactly the kind of little things that it's much easier to sort out in person. So, let's do that. Should I take a space capsule and put cargo rocket sections in it, or should I just take a rocket? Probably a rocket. How are we doing on those cargo rocket sections? Uh, wait, what? I need the P graph. Cargo rocket section. Uh, we've actually been producing them pretty consistently. Although you wouldn't know to look at it two seconds ago. That's good. Why aren't these ones active? Oh, it's actually saturated. Oh, nice. Very good. Rocket control units looking very, very good. Um, so I want to take up cargo landing pads and cargo rocket silos. Cargo, rocket, uh, landing pad. There we go. Uh, I want to take up a bunch of this stuff that I'm carrying. Not the colored belts, though. Electrolysis plants work in space. Would there be any reason that we'd want them in space? They do. Uh, no, I'm not going to worry about things we could craft up there. Uh, I don't think electric furnaces work or industrial. Don't need quarry drills. Um, don't need drills of any kind right now. Don't need this. Pulverizers are fine. Chemical plants won't work. Some basic beacons. I need more trains. Electromotive. Fantastic. Cargo wagon is where? Where's the other one? Or other lot? Is that it? No, there's more over here. Uh, and fluid wagon. Where are they? Here we go. Oh, they're in multiple places. There we go. That's a lot of train. Let's also bring a lot of bot. Um, probably some more logi bots.
Inventory is looking a bit full. And if I spend too much more time thinking about it, we'll be here all day. So let's just get up there. Um, let's see what it would look like if I take a space capsule. We would need 12 um, cargo rocket sections. That's nowhere near as many as I expected, actually. I thought it would be, like, so much that I should just take a rocket. Is that? That's 10. And 12. Uh, and we need a lot of fuel. Inventory is full. Uh, I've still got this crap in my trash slots. Might actually not need as many cargo rocket sections as we thought. Still need 12. Okay. Where's our solid rocket fuel? Give it to me. Fantastic. Uh, we still need 17 fuel. Oh, cargo capacity is max 20. Never mind. 12 cargo rocket sections for 20 capacity is pretty horrible. Um, I think we'll take the rocket instead. Which means I need to go through this and get rid of the stuff that's no good in space. Uh, rail is actually good in space because we need it to make space rail. I don't think we need to send... This, this was set out as if we were going to make an outpost. Um, don't need coal mining drills. Some more solar wouldn't hurt, but... How many accumulators do we really need up here? We've got 104. Uh, we might use them for something else. Like, uh, if they're a pre -rank. Navsat, Electromag facility, laser facility, okay sure, let's just send the accumulators. Uh, atmospheric condensers, not going to do anything, pump check's not going to do anything, oil refinery's not going to do anything. And I don't think we need to take extra cargo rocket sections uh, this time. Also, Steel underground pipe. Okay. What am I going to do with the extra... Oh my god, the bots are way too busy. Okay. Um... How about... about that. And whatever space is left we'll just put in big electric motors or something. Just temporarily add 10,000 extra bots. They'll die ridiculously quickly. That's why I've only got 50 here. Um, it's... Robot Interference Wind is 
it's literally over 10 times what we would have on Nalvis. Uh, they die so quickly that no, I'm just I'm just not gonna do it. Sacrifices must be made, not at that scale. You aren't at the point where the cost of robot attrition is a non-issue. It's it's ten times normal, ten and a half times normal. Like I already went through the process of okay, I think we can start spamming logistic bots now. Um, and they died so fast that it's just not worth it. How much spare space do we have now? Uh, 90 stacks? Sure. Um, and give us 40 stacks of this as well. Because we'll need those to make trains. Midden, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Sounds like an excuse to not expand the factory. Wow. It's not like we're expanding it right now. That's what we're packing up to do. Good to see you again, Midden. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um... Oh, I should bring some... Yeah, I should probably bring some warehouses and stuff. Let's drop this a little bit. So... 10 stacks we've got. Uh, let's see. That would be 200 of these. Let's just go for 40. That's 2... Four, six, uh, ten stacks. Silver Cloud, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. RF Holloway, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. I think you trashed it, but are you bringing a construction train? Or the robot ports to make one. Yes. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, I mean, we could have made them when we got there, but more personal robot ports would be a good idea. Absolutely. Personal robot port mark two, which is sadly slash happily the best we can get, actually. So we got uh, 120 spare, and we need, if we want to max this out, like 6 by 16, so 3 by 8, 24, about 23 times 3, but we should have plenty of personal robot parts. Um, I'm thinking of doing a separate construction train for deconstruction and or maybe a separate one for rail and scaffolding as well. Um, we'll see. And anything else I want to grab? Our life support seems a good. Okay, is this thing full? Ten stacks remain. Uh, I thought I was going to add... Wait, oh, this is switched off. There's our ten stacks. That shouldn't take too long. Unless we don't have that many steel chests. We do not have that many steel chests. We should probably have more steel chests in reserve. 
but this won't take too long. Cool. How's the build coming up here? I think they finished as much as they're going to finish a while ago. Wait, how do we make the space assemblies? It doesn't have these as a prereq, so we're not going to need these at all. Uh, I guess I could take some modules. How many tier 3s do we have lying around? 25 prods, that's not that many. Well, we can hardly use any prods up there. Uh, I'll come back later for the modules, it's fine. Okay. Is this thing full yet? It's almost full. Need a couple more storehouses. Do you need the other things like Tesla coil or battery for the train? The Tesla coil I think we can make pretty easily. Coil. Now what's it actually called? Uh, it is called a Tesla coil. What? Tesla coil. It's copper cable, electronic circuit, and steel beam. That's not difficult. Uh, what about the thing in the train? Uh, energy absorber. Energy absorber needs batteries. I think we have batteries up here. We have batteries. Oh. So, we're still waiting for those two storehouses? I thought I saw the second last one get put here a minute ago. Oh, never mind, we're done. Uh, I have to form all my houses. I guess. Cool. Let's -a go. Uh, we don't need to point at Gibil, though. I think we're going to lose a bunch of liquid rocket fuel because of this. Hagen Orbit. Hagen Orbit Landing Pad. Off we go. With any luck, that is everything we're going to need for quite a while up here. Let's get our life support in place. Um, maybe I should use the power armor, just because it has more slots. Can I handcraft these? I don't think so. Space transport belt. It looks like I actually can. And we need, like... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 in total for the whole thing. Did I not bring up more rocket fuel? I guess not. Oh wait, we did. Okay. Um, instruction box, just get into the network. This is actually an obscene number of construction bots. I'll just put these in here for now. I accidentally still have chemical plants. Uh, 
why don't I just resume my auto trash? Now then. Uh, we'll need to make some... Where are the warehouses? Oh right, I was trying to come over here to get uh, some space belt. So that we can make some space loaders. Which will put all of this into here. I also need one of these. Purple chest. And now the bots can start doing their thing. Um, I really should separate these robot networks as soon as we're ready, because the 50 Logi bots are going to have to travel a long way. Although, we do actually have... Uh, Hagen is a, a nightmare for bots, but Hagen Orbit is about as good as, it, uh, good as it gets, as far as planet orbits go. 1.82 robot uh, radiation interference wind. Very nice. Okay, do we have... Maybe I should have left this here. No, it's fine. Looks like it's emptying it in reverse order. So, here we are. Too late already for our big chests. They're over here. And I should be able to make... Buffer warehouse. Request a warehouse. Three more buffer warehouses. Having started Pyanodon, I think the main challenge is it takes a long time to get logistic stuff. I only get splitters after like 40 hours. That's... that's gross, honestly. Uh, why did I just take damage? Oh, we have no, no canisters. That would probably help. Give me the life support. It's over here somewhere. Uh, I might have to search. Life support... canister... It's down here. It's not where it was before. Okay. I think I will use the power armor, actually. And rope reports. Cool. Uh, wait, what? We have life support canisters. We have life support equipment. Uh, I guess power armor doesn't work. Okay. Okay. Apparently power armor doesn't let you have life support anymore. Um... That's... that's good to know. How much time do I have? 11 hours 23? Okay, we don't have to be quite that greedy. Let's have some speed. Isn't vacuum sealed, apparently. Alright, we got a few... Storage crates, those can be ignored. Uh, Tesla coil. It's down here. And do I want to copy from this train? I think I do. Probably already did that before. Where even is it? There it is. I've set... There's our train. And there's our rocket fuel. 
Uh, we need some banner inserters, so I'm not going to change it. Although... No, that doesn't quite reach, that's fine. Let's get our auto crafter working. So first of all, I want chests. And let's say 500. Hey Dilko, good to see you again. Oh, well, you're welcome, hope you're doing well. Uh, it'll be a few more seconds, I think, before this kicks in, unless... Oh, it would help if we had crafting combinators. There we go. We need one more space manufacturing. Can I just... It's not like I can handcraft that. Uh, let's see, space menu. Factory. I turned this into a purple chest. Okay then. Those numbers are way too high. Do we have everything? We do. Fantastic. Huh? Wait, what? Where did it get the message to do rainbow chests? Oh, I think I did this wrong. No? Reading from the logistic network. Anything greater than zero, pass it through. Oh, this is times negative one, it's supposed to be. So we're reading from the whole logistic network to decide what to make. And we're just doubling it indefinitely. Fascinating. There we go. So now we're just trying to make steel plate. Uh, sorry. But we're trying to make, uh, chests. Did I copy the settings from this? I don't think so. Uh, but let's get an idea. We're just going to request one stack of any of our prerequisites. Stone brick. Concrete, glass, um, well, that'll do for now. And we need to whitelist those. So, say, up to five stacks. Uh, up to two stacks, let's say, for each of these. You can stay in that chest. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a negative. Yeah, it is. Uh, we need green circuits as well, apparently. Well, we will, sooner or later. But steel... Apparently we don't have any steel plate up here. We've got 53k steel plate. So why... Logistic storage 53k on the way zero. Okay then. No fish. Uh, not right now. Did we get some space manufactories? We did. Fantastic. 
fantastic. What? Where am I? So confused. Um, we'll need all kinds of circuits. Green, red, a blue. Oh. Oh, it's still emptying. Okay. Never mind. Because the bots can't keep up. That makes sense. I need to hurry up and... You know what? I might even do it right now. Let's just separate these robot networks. And I'll get exactly 50 Logibots on each side. Money is over here, 23, or 5. Oops, lost count. Uh, with that instant double click. There we go, 50 Logi bots. And we need 23 over here. There we go. That'll be a lot faster. Um, so that's actually working pretty quickly. It's working as fast as the inserters can keep up. This is fine. I wonder if double inserter will cause any problems. Still moving in inches, just more fluidly now. Okay, so we're gonna want passive provider chest. Active storage, uh, buffer, and requester. Uh, we're going to want steel chests in uh, this buffer chest. So we're going to allow a stack or two. And what's next, I wonder? I'd like to make space pipe here. Um, what do we need to accomplish that? Space pipe is plastic, glass, steel plate, copper, copper cable. Uh, we don't have any plastic here right now. Let's go steal some. I don't want the auto crafter to make copper cable out of copper. I might just have. Uh, a little assembler on the side somewhere, do things like that. Because it's in completely the wrong place. Um, as far as the automatic ordering goes. Let's go get some assemblers as well. Fantastic. Uh, copper cable. Quest chest. We should have those here. 
or maybe not yet. But we do. Copper cable is obviously going to have to be committed. Can we do that on another constant combinator? I'm sure we'll need these as well. Does that stack to 200? Could be two stacks. Why not? Got the cable. There we go. And what did we need copper cable for? For the space belts. Actually, I think I got that wrong. There we go. Alright, so we need some copper plate. There you go. And I think once the cargo landing pad is empty, we could maybe reconnect these. Maybe. So now we've got our cable. I haven't actually put a space belt here, have I? A space pipe. Fifty of each. And I'll just double check the inputs. Glass steel plate. I might need to bring some glass over. But all of these are just made out of space pipe. Very good. Uh, let's go steal some glass. If I can spot it. There it is. That's a good start. Did I not activate this? I did. Uh, make it like a thousand space pipe. Just to be sure. And I'm thinking like 500 back to ground. There we go. Um, and I'll have to add plastic. And we've already got glass. Okay. Plastic after two stacks. And did we already go through all of our steel? I don't think I delivered any steel. That was what led me to separate these robot networks. At least for the moment. Seeing that there was 53k steel available and zero on the way. There we go. Space belt, uh, space pipe is online. Uh, space belt, maybe I should do it on this one. And space underground belt. This one needs lubricant. I won't be doing that with the bot network. Uh, for the moment, should I just pipe over some lubricant? It's going to be pretty awkward. We should have barrels, actually. Heavy oil barrel. So... Oh wait, I need a chemical plant. I mean a giant chemical plant. It's 
probably the easier way to go anyway. Whoops. That's a spaceship. Okay, we need biomechanical facility. Uh, need some pumps. Pump. And glass. And I need to steal some heavy oil barrels. Here they are. That's not a whole lot. That's all over the place. I'll be fine. And... Uh, we need giant machine to empty the barrels. But I did it again. Let me out. Probably keep going. Lubricant. Do we have any underground space pipe yet? Probably not. Because it's trying to make a space belt instead. Uh, do we have any space pipe at all? There we go. 29, it's a start. Can we get up this way with that? I think we can. Uh, actually, no, I think we need some more. Give me some underground, some space pipe to ground. Oh, wait, what? That's only one, never mind. Space pipe to ground. Where is it? There it is. Fantastic. Okay. I was gonna stay, say I probably stole way more heavy oil than was necessary, but we're making belts. Um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be it's going to be needing a lot. Empty heavy oil barrel. That's fill. There we go. Request a chest. Fantastic. Uh, okay. That is not where the lubricant goes. Hmm. I think I think I can fix it if wait what? I could have sworn I just pressed up. It at least pushed it over this way. Uh, if I put a pump down here... I should have picked up some regular space pipe. This would actually fit really well. Um, could you stop for a second? Wait till that's empty. Dunsky. And just point this directly over here. Actually, why not just bring it ever so slightly closer? Okay. So, one of these. Uh, some of these. And some of these. Empty. 
empty, heavy final barrel. And just wait until we get the last little bit of lubricant out of here as well. Which it looks like we're basically done. Literally like two lubricant left over here. 1.5. Okay. Uh, let's go get some more space pipe. Fantastic. Let's make a nine. Apparently we had a bunch of threes already. And we need one, two, three, four, sevens. Wait, we're already out of steel? We're, we're already out of steel over here. Okay. That was fast. Uh, I won't bother taking the ingots just yet. Give me the steel plate. And we also need a small electric motor. Which is located where exactly? Here it is. Give me that. There we go. Did I not? Oh, did we already go through all of those barrels? Damn, that was fast. 7.1k lubricant. That makes how much space pipe? Uh, space belt? 5 lubricant per belt. Uh, underground costs quite a bit, it looks like. That should still be a decent chunk. Steel gear wheel. Gear wheel. Let's put that over here, I guess. Uh, so I can go down here. And permit a couple of hundred uh, Schnutzky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Left Manufactory isn't connected to Lou. It is now? Okay. Let's get some... gear wheels So we can get our space belt. If I wanted to be, uh, if I want prod modules for those, I could make a train block. I'd probably do that eventually. We'd have to send up gear wheels along with everything else by rocket. Uh, how's space transport belt doing? LDS, small electric. Okay. Let's put it here. Small electric LDS. Uh, no doubt we'll need heat shield if we need LDS ever. Uh, 
Wait, we already asked for small electric? No, not yet. LDS heat shield. Heat shield. Gonna need to pick up some of those. And heat shield. I guess heat shield can go in here. Fantastic. Uh, and we still need more steel plate. Because, of course, we do. Alright, there's our space belt. Fantastic. Also, space belt is a prereq. So that'll have to be permitted as well. Couple of stacks. And a stack over here. There's our first space loader that I'm aware of. And space transport belt is on the way. Beautiful. What's next? Oh, we actually are loading this because I forgot to change some of these. Why? Why so many chests? What the? Oh, okay. Uh, could you please empty and come back and technically, literally, I mean, very specifically, connect to this train stop so that it knows how much is in the train. I think I know where some of our steel went. We made a cargo wagon full of steel chests. No wonder that recipe didn't change. Yeah, now it's working. Okay. Let's get a lamp. I can't actually make a lamp. Uh, let's get a... Programmable speaker. Grab some glass. Make a lamp. And there's our notification system. Hughes Mike, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, Alright, so that's the basics. Uh, let's get ourselves a cargo rocket silo. Oh no, I made it just barely not fit here. Uh, I could put it up here. Or down here. Down here seems pretty good. Hold on. Can we actually get a read on how much fuel this thing has? Yeah, we can. I wonder... I would have to know how much fuel it needs to take off, though. If we're going to use that to report to LTN. So, maybe not. Perhaps. Uh, I am a little disappointed about this one tile, though. So this can't fit. 
beautifully. I mean, I could get rid of that corner since this is going to go all around. Doesn't it also have fuel status somewhere? Uh, does it? Let's see. It's, uh, not spaceships. Cargo rockets. Empty slots, full slots, liquid rocket fuel, total in the silo. Not really. In fact, the cargo rocket signal doesn't actually check for fuel. I actually expected it would. That's unfortunate, I guess. I could just... No, that's a bad idea. I've got enough signals going around uh, with the cargo rocket silo. I kind of do like this positioning, though. Even if the door looks a little bit obscured. Like, move it over one. And we could have the usual smart loader. Well, it doesn't even have to be a smart loader. This is just going to be for sending stuff back downstairs. Um, but I think... I think after this launches once, we'll build this one. But we can go ahead and copy and steal uh, from over here as well. We can already take buffer chests for granted, very nice. Uh, apparently we can't take assembly machines for granted. Big electric motor needs to go in here. And allow... We've already done that. Fantastic. Um, let's get some assembly machines... And see if we've got everything we need for that. I think we do. Processing unit, big electric, LDS heat shield. Processing unit, big electric, LDS heat shield. So that should get built the moment that crafting combinator ticks over. Which should be any second now. Any second now? Oh wow. How many gears did we make? Not that many. Oh right, it's because we're only doing four recipes and we're trying to do the belts. Okay. A bit short on resources for the belts, so we'll stop that for now. Happy Saturday, Zonia. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What about the L signal? Do you mean for the cargo rockets? Liquid rocket fuel require. Oh, I missed that. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Indeed, by Cal. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I would have to add a combinator to subtract L time, like L times one output as liquid rocket fuel. Uh, like L times negative one output liquid rocket fuel. If I was going to send that to LTN. Please surrender a blueprint for the space quad crafter. <laughs> okay. It's not really finished yet, but we'll get to it. Uh, we're still trying to make space pipe. Okay. 
All right then. I mean, this should have way more speed than we need, but like, only four items being trying uh, trying to craft at the same time is a little bit of an issue, especially while we've got a lack of resources. Whoa, there it goes. Fantastic. Okay. So let me just double check this logic. We've got solid rocket fuel. Oh, that's supposed to go into the fuel refinery. Uh, I think I'll leave that out of this chest. And for as long as we need a fuel refinery here, uh, we'll just put it here. Wait, that's not what I'm... whatever. Um, I think for now we'll just say... If there's practically no liquid rocket fuel in the containers, make some more. Welcome, welcome, raise the K. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. And a welcome, welcome. Okay. That should be fine for now. Uh, I think this has to connect, yeah, to this system. Oh, and this should. No, oh, that's fine. Do a separate chest. Yes, why not? A little bit easier. Nope, that's that. That's not who I am. Let's do a space capsule and set filters. Uh, set filters blacklist. Constant Combinator. And we'll go negative 99 cargo rocket sections. Cargo rocket section. And this is for packing them. Uh, and actually, I don't think I want to pack any of them until rocket cargo rocket signal is greater than zero. What's the plan for today? We're building our space mall and getting ready to start expanding uh, our space rail blocks. And I really want to get it to the point where this is all fully automated and getting resupplied automatically. Um, and we can just expand the space rail network by remote control using the construction train. Oh, speaking of which, uh, I don't know where all my personal roboports went. I mean, I do, just not precisely. We're going to need three uh, energy absorbers. Let's go get some batteries. Oh, I see some. One, two, three. And... Where, oh, where did our... Roboports go? Here we go. Oh, they're actually over here. Uh, what was the bonk for by cow? Oh, am I muted? No, I think we're good. Uh, 
grid like so all the roboports and some energy absorbers uh, and I think the bots took my extra personal roboports but they're bringing them back so it's probably fine oops put special roboports in wagon they have better range and you can't you just can't use them in a normal armor. Special robot boards. I don't think we have those. Vehicle robot port. Uh, so we do. Robot limit 100 versus... Uh, versus 30. How big is it? 4x4. Four so really, we're comparing this to four Mark IIs. I'm a little upset that it's the regular personal robot port that upgrades into this. That means all those Mark IIs that I've got are a bit of a waste. Those look insane. Yeah, they do. Construction area 96 by 96 versus 40 by 40. Um, that's going to be huge. Okay, let's compare. I'll, I'll turn off my roboports here. I think um, I think we're seeing the robo range. Wait a sec. Oh, this is supposed to be construction mode. No, we are still seeing the robot range from this cargo wagon. Okay, so I'm going to make just a couple of these, since that's what I can do right now. They'll cover a whole city block? Yeah, I don't doubt it. Uh, it's taking a moment to handcraft. What's this? 10 seconds each? That's actually pretty tame. Okay, I'm just gonna... Take all of these out. And vehicle... Wow, well, that, that's... That, that feels enormous, actually. Should fit an even number of these. How much charge does it have? Uh, it doesn't say. Internal buffer recharge rate... Yeah, neither of them tell us how big the battery is, but it's pretty big. Uh, let's see what the range looks like now. I don't know if that changed. Let's get rid of these. Uh, and I need to make a couple more. What, what do I need to make personal RoboPort? Batteries. Lots and lots of batteries. Okay. Battery. Uh, one, two, three. And then I need... Whatever the bots just brought me. Did you need a specific mod to get construction trains to work? Uh, it's part of SEK2, or it's part of K2, but there's also a mod called Vehicle Equipment Grid, if you're looking to do that separately. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, so all of these slots uh, could maybe be batteries, I guess. don't know what else they would be for a construction train. Assuming that these vehicle roboports have as much range as we expect. 
Um, let me just turn these off for a sec. Logistic mode. So, I think we can see how much range the train has already. With two of these. I think it probably will re I think we're going to have very similar range to what we had before, actually. Uh, because it's not like this is going to give it double the range. We should see that range pop out a bit once the charging hits a critical mass. Or not? Oh, it's still going. Wow. Okay. It's going to put the mouse at the corner of where we had with two. Alex Hudson, Dark Rail, Bajibam. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You could just fill the next car with the other ports and compare the numbers in the info panel. I I, I want to see it viscerally. It says construction area 192 by 192. Indeed. Just tad under the normal roboport you put on the ground. Already popped out? Did it? Uh, you might be right. So... That's looking pretty good. Oh, we could turn all of these roboports to logistic mode. So we can see the construction range. It's going to be a pain changing them back. But I can think of no better way so we can see exactly what the construction range is like right now. Uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be decent. It doesn't quite... It's going to be about the same as what we had before. Unless I put even more post personal roboports in here. Construction area 192 by 192 versus uh, 174 by 174. So regardless, it's going to have to park on both sides of a rail block uh, to get the job done. How many tiles exactly is this? Uh, if I go to the editor... We can measure it. Approximately, or precisely, 136. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Uh, 192 by 192, so half of that. So we would need, was it 136? Damn it, why did I delete that? One thirty six. Let's double check this. Uh, two seventy two by two seventy two. Can we even get that much? I seriously doubt it. But uh, this is most likely as good as it gets. Would it work if you added the 2x2 ports as well? That's what we're going to find out. At least, if it does, it wouldn't be a waste that I have this many personal robot ports. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. That should be able to build a whole block pretty easily. 
Okay, let's do that. So we need four of these, right? Got a cargo wagon. Uh, I've already got three. Let's make one, two, three, four more, and plus one once the bots give us some stuff. Ship it, indeed. Didn't pay attention. How did you get the? How do you power the wagons? Uh, with a energy absorber and a Tesla coil. So it's taking power from the main power network. Pretty aggressively, actually. Actually, how fast can it draw power? Tesla. Not see it anywhere. I, I don't think it shows it properly. Be wrong. And this one. There is a research to increase the rate of Tesla coils, really? I mean, it shouldn't be a problem regardless. The, ba the battery storage built into RoboPorts is kind of insane. Although, so is the amount that bots take. Hey, we're d researching robot speed. Very nice. Okay, what's next? Drop off these batteries, I guess. We're finished crafting whatever we've been crafting. Um, I might just reconnect these. Well, first, first I'm going to grab all these logistic bots so we don't get bot interference wind. Oh, and I need to change all of these back to construction mode. One by one. Well, actually, not all of them. Uh, several. The ones in the middle should be in normal mode. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven. And I want the outside ones in construction mode. Fantastic. Okay. Where are all my lodgy bots? Where are the rest? Still 20 I need to pick up. Eight, seven, get in here. I don't think I didn't see you. Wait, did we just get another... No, I see what happened here. Alright, I might just have to catch them. Oh, nope. <laughs> There's one. And... It's trying to take from me. That's a good way to bait it, actually. Come on. There you go. Alright, zero Logibots. Let's reconnect. And I don't care if this is a little bit slow now. Fishing for bots, indeed. Alright. Uh, I want to move this... over here. Um, that should also be telling us what's in the cargo landing pad. Hold on. 
that probe report. Read logistic network contents. Okay, perfect. Let's use this one. And this could go here, I guess. And lead to this one. Should have all the same settings here. Nope, it didn't give us... Hagen Orbit Lazy Science. That's what that'll be for now. Uh, and we need to read from Logistic Network. So down below we should still see that it's trying to load. It's not really sending anything right now. Input signals need to... Okay. Whitby, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Uh, so that's our... Wait, is that connected? I don't think so. Except the bots were going back and forth across it already. Well, regardless, that is our rail space mall. Uh, functional, if perhaps a little slow for the moment. Didn't mean to pick that up, actually. And we should be able to start building out rail blocks down here. What's the first rail block we want to make in space? Probably need to redo uh, the really basic science. Although, I'd kind of like to do a block to make flat solar panels. LTN depot grid? Yeah, we will be needing that. That's true. Don't forget to fill out the third cargo wagon with robo stuff. Indeed. And it should already have bots. Yes, it does. Alright, cool. Why do we have... Oh, I thought those were something else for a second there. Uh, how's our space rail looking? Very, very good, actually. Nice. Don't be needing these anymore. Uh... Don't know what that was about. Well, oh, actually, we could keep that just in case. Oh. Uh, I'm kind of feeling a bit of paralysis about exactly what to do next, though. Could do an outpost. But no, let, let's get some rail blocks going. I think we'll start with a depot down here. Which, come to think of it, we'll have to redesign. Where, where's my depot? Here it is. Uh, depot for short trains. And a depot for long trains. Where on earth am I? There we go. The unloaders looks weird. Patch needed? How so? Game to relax. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do you mean like the belt unloaders, or something else. Alright, so we're basically just having to redo all of this with space rail. Unless I dig up that one uh, link that I just remembered. Space rail. Uh, 
It's on the Discord somewhere, but I don't... Don't know where it is. Let's you convert land belts and the like. Okay, here we go. It does not match space rail. Oh, the bulk rail unloaders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, the unloaders actually look fine. It's the, um... Wait, are you saying the unloaders look bad? I think they're okay. But the bulk rail loaders, actually. You can see a little bit of rail that looks like regular rail. Okay. So, where do I paste? Straight rail, SE, space, straight rail. Curved rail, SE, space, curved rail. Cool. Oh, here's the input. Alright, let's try this. I think I've used it before, so it should be fine. Okay, that was, that was fast. Alright. New blueprint. Um, right about here. Oh no, I need to import. Can I get rid of this? I have to put something into it before I can delete it. What just happened? Uh, is that a copy or... LCCL block. Yeah, it's a copy. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's an old copy as well. So we can... Delete. Uh, I'm scared. I don't want to delete it. <laughs> let, let me delete it this way. There we go. Anyway, import string. That should be it. Looks very good. Cool. Uh, let's put that here. Delete that one. This one is with space rail. Oh, it's even got... even replace the belts, although the underground belts are too far apart. So we'll have to make a little update for that. Uh, but let's grab the 2 by depot. Export the two string. This goes here. And import string. Fantastic. Looks a good. Rail to space rail, any mod or upgrade possible yet? Uh, not to my knowledge, if I understand the question. I'm just using a tool, uh, a website to do it. Okay, so we're going to have to update these a little bit. Basically just the underground belts. Because these don't reach. Uh, is that going to be a problem over here? It doesn't look like it. Gotta maybe test these. Let's put in something very easy to spot. There we go. That's going to need an underground. Or maybe I should just do that. No, 
now I've messed up this one though. Wait, that wasn't consistent before? Huh. Well, that's a crime. Did I just remove something? No, I think we're good. And this one. I kind of like that. Not a fan of whatever this is. Let's remove the items on the ground. That looks pretty tidy. Yeah, I don't mind this. Uh, this one's actually busted. And this part's unnecessary. did the same thing over here. I can't actually see the belt. There it is. And then... Underground belt just barely fits, really. I would just copy-paste, but I'm sure there's going to be some little thing somewhere that's going to get messed up. Why is this... Oh, that was a mistake. Copied from somewhere else. Hold up. This is the onesie, isn't it? Just use bots? Um, I would have to make sure the robot networks stay separate. And sometimes that can be a pain, and I really don't mind how this uh, turned out. Uh, but yeah, this is for the short trains. Actually. bugging me to no end that I managed to miss this earlier on. That looks better. That's the end. One unnecessary inserter blueprint left on southmost rail. Did we remove it? I think you found it. Okay, cool. And let me check the station names. Uh, that looks good. And... We'll 
probably request... I don't know what kind of fuel. Of course, this will end up being changed when we use uh, space locomotives. Let's have a peek at that, because I want to know if there's going to be more logistic steps, like... Um, like, do we have to take something out of the space locomotive after it's been... Yeah. Space train power pack. Let's go in a circle. I'd like to kind of future-proof this. And it might be a little fun to design it. Um, I think these cargo wagons just work like usual. Fluid wagons should be the same. We've actually got 50 stacks here. And the fluid wagon, or the space fluid wagon, can presumably take some more input. Storage value 30k. Fascinating. Alright, regardless, uh, what kind of fuel do we need here? Space train power pack. Space train power pack. Discharged, destroyed. So sometimes they come back destroyed. Okay, could you please go round and round in circles forever? Or do I need to give you two stops? Oh, I can't actually give it a temp stop to keep going forever, I don't think. Um, because it'll delete it when it gets there. Alright, give it a station then. Train stop Gungan something. And no condition. Or oh, wait, what? Okay, two stops. Lord Junior Penguin. And no wait condition means it'll just go round and round in circles. Very, very rapidly. Damn. I know it's just the locomotive itself, but still. Actually, you know what? I want to see how fast it would be if it was double cargo wagon. Let's see. There we go. Can you use normal wagons with those space trains? Uh, yeah, absolutely. No reason you couldn't. Try giving it additional engines, Mark II. <laughs> oh god. It's actually getting pretty fast. Um, but we should by now have... There we go. Space train power pack discharged. How often does it get destroyed? Space train power pack discharged. Oh, okay. So, 1% of the time when we recharge them, they get destroyed instead. Which means we don't need any extra logistics at the depot. Uh, but we do compared to what we've already got. But... Um, we'll only have to pick up discharged power packs. So, I think what I'll do... Um, actually, why don't you... Inactivity, inactivity. Go around in circles. And I'll just double check, but I think... I think the discharged power packs will end up in here, and we don't have to worry that... We 
We don't have to worry that it'll, like, do the wrong thing. That seems fine. I could actually do a giant sushi belt with uh, the charged power packs on one side. I have to empty the used power packs at the logistics depot. Yes. Well, this part's not a sushi belt. I kind of like the sushi, sushi belt idea. Um, so I'll make this a drop-off, this a pickup. This one won't be a, a depot stop. No regular rail. Uh, just the one... Bulk rail loader. Do space trains work on non-space surfaces? I think they would, yeah. Thinking multi-surface LTN. Yeah, it, they should. I don't see any reason why they wouldn't. Uh, let's get rid of our test input here. That does it. Almost done. The splitters are really dragging this out. Okay. Just, just about finished. There we go. Uh, I might leave the inserters where they are, if only as a marker. Let me do a decon planner or space belt. Do we have that already? We do not. Space belt. Be gone. question is, how do we thread it through? Oh, we left this here before. Whoops. I think when I did this, I didn't know that the uh, bulk rail would automatically unload into this. Or maybe it was because we were balancing these two. It's really not necessary, though, for fuel packs. Okay, so... We're gonna need to use one side of the belt for one thing, the other side for the other. If we've got four of these here, maybe we could do it... Let's forget about the substations, and we'll rethink where we put them after this. But if we could perhaps put our belt through here. But with a bit more space. And output has to be on the same side. Do we have just enough room for that? Kinda, yeah. Well, 
kind of want to turn those two around. Uh, that's fine, I guess. And the opposite on this side, I think. Uh, that doesn't look good. Belt's going to have to face the opposite direction. Is that right? Probably not. Oh, no, I'm, I'm doing this in the wrong spot. We want the belt to share between these two and these two. Except, if I'm going to have five in two of these quarters, I'm not sure how that's going to work. We shall see. Why don't I just do the exact same shape? Except I might have to turn around the uh, the output. That's a good fit, at least. The output from the trains. And then this would go all the way up here. Wait, what? Why was that backward? Uh-huh. There we go. Turn around the belt though, so you probably also need to swap near far. Yeah, probably. Um, let's bring this over... Yonder. That's gonna look bad no matter what. I'll need an inserter or something to make sure we only use one side of the belt. And let's put in our what were they called? Space Train Power Pack. Space Train Power Packs in here. Let's just get some cheap power in for the moment. So these two are so far so good, this is correct, these ones are going to be on the wrong side. Seems good. Uh, wait a sec. Well, we'll, we'll come back to that. Jacob Slovakia, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Don't forget to change out the wind turbines, that's a good point. Um, and we'll have to put in the uh, flat solar panels. You can get rid of the space spare inserter on the far bottom left rail. This one. Right then. Um, that can go here. And then... Do we want to do 1, 2, 3, 4 again? I think we probably do. Oh, 
There was a bunch of stuff in the way. Out with the old world. Uh, and this one's going to be different. Move all of those. And how does this fit? Not so well. I mean, I could just... Oh wait, this is fine. This is fine, I think. That goes there. This comes down here. We'll have a splitter... Where's our splitter? There it is. To take... Uh, what are they called? Discharged. Discharged space train power pack. Goes in here. And... Other than that, we'll do pretty much the same thing in this place. And we may as well uh, refuel the train when it comes to pick this stuff up. Because why not? And uh, these should ha actually have outputs as well. Near side. And is this near side? We'll soon find out. Uh, yes, it is. So we're sticking with the pattern very nicely. Okay. Let's copy this over here. Oh, I should have removed things first. Out with the old. This seems good. And then this one once again. Same as before. Except it'll be a little different. Let's rethink this part. So basically just, which side is it supposed to be on? This side. I could change it. This is looking slightly inconvenient. To get it on the opposite side. I'd very much like to just do it like this. Which means we've got, uh, how many train stops is this? It's like 16, 17, 18, 19 inserters to change. Let's just remove them. Uh, double that number, by the way. I wish I could uh, deconstruction planner inserters outputting to a belt. That would make it a little bit easier. Oh, 
I did that wrong, didn't I? I think that's it. Alright. Let's temporarily remove the space belt. Put it back. And we'll be able to see quite easily where these need to go. Wait, what? That one was incorrect. Uh, and this one is normal. Normal side. Normal side. Wait, what the heck is this? Uh, you know what I should do is cop make sure I get the first quarter right, and then copy-paste all the inserters. That's a much better plan. Okay. Except we don't have these ones. Alright, so let's double check. That's correct. That is correct. That is correct. That is correct. Let's check the way the trains fit as well. Looks good. Okay. Copy paste. Much easier. And these ones. might be a bit different on this side. They are not. Seems those ones are always the same. Cool. I think that's it. And of course, when we get discharged, Oh. When we get discharged. Kind of hard to see, actually. Those are going to go round and round and end up in here. Actually, let me test it this way. That's looking pretty neat. I quite like that. Space rails, indeed. Have you missed a stream? Uh, I don't know. We're not that far ahead, though. Can get rid of the span. Oh yeah, we found it. Okay. Um. So what are the power poles gonna look like? Let's see if they can fit in the same place as where they already were. I just want to grab the big power poles and substations, nothing else. Do they all still fit? Almost. There's like four that need updates. The ones that were, like, here, right? I guess... That's about as neat 
is this going to get? Let's remove that. That looks kind of cool. Make sure we have power. Looks like everything except for a couple of inserters. What if I move this down here? Then these aren't powered. Over here instead? That looks kind of neat. I kind of like that. As long as everything's powered. Yeah, I could definitely live with that. Do you have the space substations available? No, not for a little while. That would obviously make it a lot easier. We'd literally just have one, two, three, four, five, or maybe eight, nine at the most. Uh, substation pylon. Literally just one in the middle of this would cover everything. But, alas. So, it seems like this is working. We should see no more space train power packs on the belt quite soon. Um, I'm going to label this station as Space Rain Power Pack Questa, but, whoops. But for now, oh, God damn it! nope, that's fine. For now, we'll just be requesting regular fuel. Uh, and this is a pickup station. Short train. Uh, provide stack threshold 50. Because that's how big the cargo wagons are going to be when we're using this. And it won't make that much of a difference. Uh, before that. Actually, it should be like an active provider. No, I'm sure... Hmm. No, I think I should make this a high priority. Like, very high priority. Because if this doesn't get done, the trains could stop. And we don't want that. Okay. Discharged uh, power pack active provider. Short trains. Right stack threshold 50 and go. Very good. Now we have to do it again for the longer trains. That's going to be fun. First of all, we should make sure all of these uh, stations are connected to a constant combinator. Just like we did before. So all of those should have the same uh wait, what are these settings? Oh I copy pasted that a few times. Okay. Get 
rid of the extra ones. So all of it should say train link 3, depot, that's it. Glad I double checked that. Uh, this one should also be connected. And this one as well. But these two are drop off and pick up. Come to think of it, uh, we could actually select new contents for this blueprint because the bulk rail loader and unloader and north to south. Okay. So that's our blueprint. Wait, I want to double check over here. I want to copy that in. That actually fits in the same place. Fantastic. That shouldn't be there. Not that it makes a whole lot of difference. forward to this, but maybe I should add all the scaffolding, like the bare minimum of scaffolding to make this work as well. I don't know, eventually I do want spiders to be able to walk across everything, but at the same time, having to pay thousands and thousands of scaffolding for each, um, new block at the moment isn't doing us any favors. Let's see, just the scaffolding goes here. I'm probably going to miss some somewhere. Install SE Space Spidertron mod? Do they give the Spidertrons jetpacks? That sounds amazing. Rayclaw, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Pretty sure we need four tiles for these. some more We needed a surprising amount of scaffolding to make the bulk rail loaders fit. Uh, loaders and unloaders. And I think it was like one more tile than we would have expected in one direction but not the other. But we added extra to make it look more consistent. Let's just do it like this. Each 
sure we got it. Um, so one or two away from that. Seems good. So is this our blueprint? Let's have a look see. Probably. Oh, I need to double check the train stop names. Uh let's see. That looks pretty good actually. Constant Combinator needs the scaffolding. Good call. Good catch. Uh, that just goes here. And I'm pretty sure all the station names are right. And that should hopefully be it. Shmoa, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, I think we can select new contents with this one, because as I said, the um, the bulk rail loaders and unloaders are both facing north-south. So let's try. Snap looks good. And... Uh, that's looking totally fine. Don't tell me we missed, like, one... Oh, hello. Select new contents didn't grab that green wire. That's odd. Considering that this one is there. Hmm. All right, we'll just do it from scratch. The bad old days of blueprinting. Making a whole massive uh, Omni smelter with this was not the most fun. All right, so we're looking for Depo. Length one, space rail, uh, and I'm not going to specify that we're using the, um, the batteries. Space rail, echo, short. There are still two combinators without. Uh, okay. Where are they? Oh, these two? Okay. Good catch. Let's try again. Depot. Uh, one. Space rail. Tiles, train stop names, snap to grid. 6251. And. A space depot. Sure. Alright. Hopefully that's it. And now we need to do the same thing over here. Um, that's going to be a whole process. I feel like taking a little break from this 
Let's do an outpost or something. Looks like the bots have calmed down as well, so it doesn't really matter right now that the, um, that it, 50 Logibots have to cross all of this distance. Alright, can we get a ride downstairs? Do us the bullet train mod? Is that the one that just makes them ridiculously fast? Um, I'm gonna need some solid rocket fuel. I'm gonna leave anything that I can easily produce downstairs up here. Especially stuff that can only be used in space. support, but I'll wait on that for a sec. Just my power armor stuff will keep on me. You can have the laser turrets. Go nuts. And repair packs. Um, there's no reason to keep cliff explosives up here, but it's gonna, like, potentially cost one more cargo rocket section this way. So I'll just throw them back into the robot network. Uh, let's use this one, actually. That's way more solid rocket fuel than we need. You can have those back. I'll take one step. to use, but what to know which ones work? I'm very confused. Uh, but welcome anyway, War Warlord Norm. Hope you're doing well. And let's go downstairs. Just asking, what are your next research priorities? Um, I don't know at this stage. I'm not really that worried about it. We've got uh, work of robot speed being done, particle collider, energy science too. I'm really just knocking some stuff off and there's nothing that I urgently want that I can get soon at this stage. How's our Vulcanite looking? We're still perpetually empty on Vulcanite blocks down here, but that's not that bad. How many prod modules do we have? That's a pretty good indicator. Still says 25. Never mind. Never mind. So I think the next outpost I'd like to do is either going to be Holmium infinite supply, which is going to come from verb T. Mild, exotic, humid, thicket, lakes, mountains. That's pretty ordinary. Oh, we were going to go to... Or did we already do that? Exorion. I don't think so. We scanned Exorion. Uh, what's Exorion good for? Barrel. My supply of Holmanite is finite on Hagen, but we can keep using that for quite a while, I think. Assuming I can find any more Holmanite. There's some. That's not Holmanite, that's a rock. There's some Holmanite. Yeah, I think, uh, I think we'll go to Ixarion instead. I'll just double check, but I'm pretty sure... Oh, there's also Achilles. But that has... 100% Biter Threat. 
Where's Achilles? Oh, it's right next door. Yeah, it's a massive, massive planet with Beryl and a lot of biters. Uh, whereas if we go to Exorion, we've got very, very few biters indeed. 3%. Radius is only 905. But at least we can clear the planet easily. Alright, um, so we want to put different things in this cargo rocket. Namely, we want to pack the stuff that we unpacked last time. Uh, oil refineries, say 20, I guess. Atmo condensers, I can't remember how many I packed, but I'm sure it was a lot because it takes a lot to make liquid rocket fuel at any reasonable pace. How many do we have on Grenis? 138. So I think we'll go for... 150. We'll need some oil pump jacks. Um, is this waterless? Oh, it is waterless. Oh, that's a bit of a pain. Uh, maybe I will go to verb T first. Zero biters. Decent radius. It's right next door. And we could get our Holmanite at infinity. But I really don't want to make an outpost to get, um... To not get any new types of resource right now. Um, it seems that we're keeping up these days with the ice, so maybe I should just deliver to any landing pad with name, and have this uh, ice sent to two different planets. Wordless hazard, indeed. That's the case for played rocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Energy beams I like in particular. Um, the bots can't keep up with this. Okay. Alright. I'm just gonna temporarily add a bunch of purple chests here. Seems the bots here never quite catch up lately. We've been designing for a minute, and they're still going hard. Okay, what else did we change? Uh, steel underground pipes, yes please. And... Why don't I just not bring those, actually? Make those out of iron. Plenty of iron available. Uh, we'll want some core mining drills. And we'll want enough packed cargo rocket sections to come back home. Give them the old lasers. Might take a while, yeah. Well, with the energy beam, you can set and forget. Put it on auto and go put the kettle on. Indeed. Okay. Um, I think we do want to take the circuits, though. Fantastic. Are we not still loading? Are we looking for packed cargo rocket sections? Uh, okay, how much is over here? 
You're looking for one more? Oh, there you go. Let me just hijack you real quick. And have you drop off at the mall instead. Fantastic. And what else do we have left here? Nothing. So we've got 31 stacks empty here. How many oil refineries are on Grenis? Uh, 28. That's a lot. And anything else I might want to take? I think we've already got lots of train stuff. Plus what I'll be carrying. I guess I could take some more wind turbines. Do we have the solar? We do. And solar shouldn't be too bad here, just a little bit less. It's actually like 17% less than Nalvis. Not as good as I was expecting, but we did some solar on Gibbel and it wasn't that bad. How's our Erudite doing? I want to double check. Or fragment iridite is saturated. Fantastic. Very, very good. What's this bottleneck done? Uh, vulcanite blocks. That's not surprising. I really wish we had more than one source of vulcanite in the local solar system. Um, although that said, we're currently actually bottlenecked on processing it, not sending it over, I think. If this doesn't send immediately, we know that's the case. Yep, we're bottlenecked on processing it. Might want to do something about that. We're not very bottlenecked on processing it. Anyway, what am I going to do with these 30 stacks? Um, could just take some more iron. I really should be taking iron as ingots at this point. Wait, where's my copper? There's no copper in here. Let's go 30 stacks of copper. Just double all processing bills and have the construction train do some work. I don't have all the prods to support it just yet. Engines and wagons for the outpost. Engines and wagons. Oh, true. Well, I think I'm carrying some already. It's not that big of a deal. We don't need very many, either. I could always double Vulcanite processing and just make it a lower priority drop-off until we get the prod modules. And considering the prod 3s are bottlenecked on Vulcanite, uh, that would probably make a lot of sense, actually. So, uh, let's do that. Construction train, get over here, and then over here, and then we'll see what's missing, if anything. Oh. Our rocket is full. Uh, 
we could probably take some more belts or something. Got plenty of assembly machines, some furnaces, pulverizers even, drills. Uh, yeah, I think I'll take a bit more belt. Doesn't cost any lubricant to upgrade the belt into other stuff. Anything else? I was going to consider using the infinite liquid rocket fuel recipe, or production chain, I should say. How does that look again? Uh, especially considering how small the planet is, um, it won't take as much liquid rocket fuel to take off. It might not be too bad. So... Liquid rocket fuel, solid rocket fuel... Uh, was it ammonia? Well, it's infinite except for the iron plate, which is very, very cheap. Yeah, I think it was ammonia. How do we make it? Nitrogen and hydrogen. And for nitrogen, we can literally just put down... Uh, what do you call it? A atmospheric condenser. Wait, I think that doesn't work on a waterless planet. Uh, I forgot it was waterless. Whoops. Whoops. Never mind, we're just going... Well, that's one less thing to think about. Uh, we're just going to go with the standard... fuel setup. On Exorion. Okay. We've got like seven biters that we need to find on this planet before we can declare it empty. Come to think of it, did we ever get that far on Gibble? Uh, threat 7%, that's a no. Yeah, there's still enemies on Gibble somewhere. Oh well. Exorion is our destination. General vicinity is our only option. And... I think we're about ready to go. I should definitely... Well, I was going to say I should bring more destroyer capsules, but this is so much smaller and less threatening. Well, it's 3% compared to 7%, but radius is... 3,200 compared to 900. I think one stack of destroyers will be fine. You could even leave the condensers at home. Uh, no, we need the condensers for oxygen. Um, so that we can make the liquid rocket fuel. Because it takes an obscene amount. Cat, thank you for the raid. Welcome, hope you're doing well. Welcome, Raiders. Veldak, good to see you again. Professional Dave, welcome, welcome. Also, uh, Ro Roblet Gilmaburuk, good to see you all again. How was your stream today? What mods are you using? Uh, you can scroll down, or you can type exclamation mark mods. It's quite a lot. But basically, Crestroyok 2 plus space exploration. Nullius, okay, now I have to scroll. Nullius without a bot mall was a mistake, and I continue to hurt. Ouch. We spent most of the time talking shit while Seath wandered around. Oh no. Uh, well, now it's my turn, because we're doing a new outpost. 
Um, oh, I know what I want to take. I want four uh, vehicle robopods. Why can't I make this? I need batteries. One, two, three, four. Because our standard on an outpost is going to be a short train for construction. Uh, I also want a energy absorber and a Tesla coil. Where's the Tesla coil? There it is. The bot union will, cont union will continue to sabotage. Good job, bot union. Evil plug, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Trying to deal with this strike with extreme violence. Uh oh. Historically accurate. Uh, am I carrying batteries? Yes. What else are we potentially going to want? I could double the number of trains. Ten, and ten, and ten. Play K2 on its own and a little bit of SE on its own, does it make a big difference combining them? Uh, a little bit. I don't know where to draw the line at big difference. Does extreme violence include cupcakes? I hope so. Uh, let's take some more blue belt and can I get some more undergrounds. Here they are. We do have oh 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 I forgot to pack ammo. I was gonna leave that to last to fill out the whole thing. Uh, that's fine. I'll just carry it myself. Where are we keeping it? Glad I didn't forget that. Fantastic. Alright. I think we are ready to go. I'll just double check. Exorion is where we want to go, yes? Yes. That is the one barrel planet in our system that is not full of biters. You have no Tesla ammo? Uh, that's fine. We're not going to be biting a whole lot of biters here. Save the game? Too late. Away we go. Okay. We are here. Turn off Robopot. I meant it was already off apparently. Um, get some stuff out of my inventory. There we go. And we're actually. I was going to say we're pretty close to the center, but the planet is very small, after all. Okay, first things first. Let's make some room and switch to power armor. And get some lasers and some armor and Maybe some batteries? I don't think that actually matters. I feel like I am missing something here. Maybe I'll just steal some more jetpack. There we go. Alright, let's go find some biters. Crafting stopped? It, it finished. We got it. Or did I not have... Nope, we got it. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, I know what I should... Wait a second. Didn't I have... Um, expansion. Show enemy expansion candidate chunks is switched on. So apparently there's no biter nests on this planet, but it's got a 3% threat. We don't have biter medias. <laughs> well, <laughs> you've confirmed that your conquest of Exorion is complete. No more hostiles will spawn on this surface. Uh, we did it, guys. It's done. Fantastic. Uh, that was the shortest campaign in history. Show's over, let's... No! Alright, so let's start building our usual... Um, I think I'd like to start by... Just getting construction bots to pick all this up. Oh, I didn't bring a whole lot of bots. Or chests, for that matter. Pretty intense. Alright, let's get some power. Solar panels, accumulators... And I think I have... here it is. That's probably too many... Oh no, I was going to say that's probably too many accumulators, but we're a bit closer to the sun this time. Eighty-two percent efficiency. As opposed to, what? Fifty-one percent? Yeah. Then again, I probably I, I probably packed the exact same ratio of solar panels from before. Okay. Are you guys feeling all right? Pick up the crashed ship as well, and yeah, we're just waiting for that to charge. There they go. How much storage space? Plenty, I think. Wait, I can count it. We've got uh, nine chests. And it's like 500 stacks of stuff, plus a little bit. So 48 stacks per chest, uh, 20 will be way more than enough. And then... I guess the bots could place it. That works too. Okay. So why don't we build our mall right about here? Uh, I still don't have a standard blueprint for the outpost mall, I don't think. We were sort of working on it. I haven't got a shortcut for this yet. On Gibber. This is pretty good. Let's take this opportunity to make our blueprint. 
So we're going to start with a regular rail block. We'll copy paste all of this, but not the cargo landing pad with the name Dibble Mall. And not the signal transmitter. Also with the wrong setting. Uh, all of this was kind of one-off. Let's get rid of that for now. The recycling was very much thrown together. Maybe I'll put it somewhere else. Iron and copper smelting, straight from mines, that seems like a good idea. Uh, but I don't see a construction train set up. Oh yeah, this is it actually. Oh, that, that looks pretty good to me. I was gonna say the bot's finished here already, but not even close. Let's get some logy bots involved. Professional Dave, thank you for the follow. And grab all this, throw it in there. Uh, what are we adding for? Sea parades. You so often, I feel like I should follow, indeed. I have lost count of the mods that I am, that I run in my run right now on Factorio, indeed. Let's go. Are we finally done picking up pieces? I think we are. Next, I'd like to move this stuff up here, actually. How many robo-pods do I have? Oh, that doesn't work that way. So theoretically that would eventually get done, but what I really want is to get the construction bots to move a bunch of this stuff. By marking it with deconstruction. transition factorio skills to my resume? I'd love to know that myself. Will you also give us life advice like Seep's wife? Uh, probably not. 
That seems a terrible responsibility. I should probably hurry up and get some media defense installations working. Uh, let's get solar panels. And let's have a peek at what we did last time. seems fine. Except I was trying to build a blueprint here first. We could copy paste... oh wait, no, we can't copy paste it to the editor. Um, Alright, why don't I put these a bit out of reach of where the blueprint's gonna go? This one. And uh, this one. Uh, we need a RoboPod, I think. Uh, anyway, I think we'll put our solar panels over here. Oh, here it is. Gonna need some construction bots for that. I really wish I brought more bots. That was a mistake. I mean, it'll be fine in the long run. It's just a little bit harder to get things done now. Also, I shouldn't be requesting smith trains all the time. Let me just turn this off for a sec. Come to think of it, the bots might actually fail at this. Uh, if they empty the chests in the wrong order, it would be theoretically possible that they never put down another storage chest and run out of space. Here at DK, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What are you up to? Uh, we're doing another another outpost, and this time on a planet with zero biters. It actually lied to us. It said threat three percent, but we didn't find any biters. And when we did the confirm hostile extinction, it just worked straight away. So uh, that's cool. Let's put our solar panels up here for now, I guess. Are you human? You are human, we all make them. Yes. But not with other people's lives. Uh, let's pick this up and then... That'll do for now, I guess. Get the logi bots in. My programming 1 and 2 teacher told me that I was the top of my class, understanding the material and completing and achieving. I never got into GUI programming or anything similar. Yeah, that sounds about right. I was actually studying programming myself a long time ago, and a few problems happened all at the same time. Uh, that kept me from finishing it off, but suffice to say, if I had gone into programming work, like, the following year, I would have felt like a complete imposter. Like, just absolutely not ready to do it. Um, I think 
what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, an apprenticeship is much, uh, makes a lot more sense for the structure of how you get people programming for a living. Because there's no way, there's no way you could study everything you need to know for whatever environment you're going to find yourself dropped into. Okay. I think we're almost done moving this stuff now. Kind of. I'm not overly concerned about how quickly the bots do that. Um, I kind of want to steal some construction bots though. Well, I may as well just help them finish this. I feel like it'd been great if the school offered better classes, but I'll last say too. What can you do? Um, is this just about empty? Really? Oh, I should do this. Let me handcraft a few more storage chests. There we go. And that's getting pretty close to finished. Fantastic. Do you mind me asking what country you're from? Australia. I've been asked the same thing in... Australia. Okay. Let's get some solar panels. Accumulators. Do I have any robots I can borrow? They're all busy trying to build this blueprint. I guess I'll just give him a minute. Get your Nalvis rocket in. Uh, let's have a look. Boovin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, where am I going? Here we go. We've got... We're missing some stuff. It's not filled up. I think Nalvis, it, it's been a long time since we checked on Nalvis. I think it must be basically dead. Iron is saturated, copper is completely dead. Uh, core fragment processing has stopped, looks like. This is not quite empty, so what's going on? Is it fluid? It's not fluid. Why is core fragment processing stopped? Probably because all of the trains are trying to do something stupid. Is this full? Okay, let's just delete that. See if this can get out of here. From the US and I love so many NZ AU streamers because I'm a Night Owl. Hell yes. Night Owl gang. I also find some sort of calming sleepy stimulus from foreign accents. I don't think that's particularly unusual. What's this guy's problem? Oh, I see. Wait, how did this happen? Much? We're asking for 30k iron ore. That might be a little bit unnecessary. Just a tad. Although, that said, 300, 640 stacks. 
32,000. Uh, plus 96. It's like 500 more. No, wait. 96 times 15. 48,000. No, I'm still surprised it oversupplied this. Sorry, 320 times 2 plus 96. 640 plus 96. 736 times 50. 36,800 is how much iron we can fit here. And I asked for 30,000. And it got oversupplied. Not sure why. But I've dropped that request for now. So now we've got. Ooh, wow, that's a lot of lime fill. Uh, now we've got. Or fragment processing in motion again, probably. Once we get. Uh, once we see some trains available. There should be infinite core fragments. We just didn't have enough trains. With that deadlock, all of our trains were uh, stuck. There's another train waiting to drop off. I, I don't get it. So it oversupplied iron by like one point two five train loads, even though we under requested a little bit. How do you calculate? Do you mean this? It's just a it's a mod. Calculator UI. Zimkolo, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm not working, how do you calculate? What? Train balancing issues, indeed. Well, yeah, it's not just train balancing issues. Like, we calculated exactly how much iron could fit in these three containers, and we asked LTN for less than that, and it's still oversupplied for some reason. Uh, but yeah, core fragments are flowing again. Um, that's interesting. Oh, the flare stack didn't do its job. We can remember how this crude oil was full and the train wasn't outputting? Um, yeah, we had the same problem with a different fluid. Because I set it a bit too conservatively, trying to wait until this was completely full before the pump would activate. But for some reason, it just... Uh, checking for 199k out of 200k, uh, it would just never meet that condition. So we never flare stacked the crude oil. So crude oil train from infinite source of crude oil for fragment processing uh, couldn't actually get out of the way and there were like seven trains waiting. But now, now we have core fragments again. So now this will end up useful. Uh, let's grab our robots. Where are they? Down this way? Twenty-nine. It's not even all of them. Need some roboports. Uh, I guess we're not gonna need shields. And I would swap out the... Oh, there we go. Need a little bit more space. Fantastic. Still need more space. Uh, 
There we go. And let's go place some solar panels. Let's get this powered as well while we're at it. Thanks for calculator. Okay, take a uh, uh, Zimcolo. Thanks for hanging out. I'm surprised. Oh, there's no power, that's why. Have you not researched the better solar panel? Uh, I believe we have researched it. I just haven't built it yet. And I felt like taking a break from where I was up to designing uh, space-based stuff. And we need, we need this outpost anyway. HP Crusher, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Come to think of it, that's what I should have used the excess petroleum for um, on that other planet or two. I should make gas power stations. That seems like a good idea. Where's our power? Oh, it's just still charging? No? Okay, it's night time. That, that probably has something to do with it. I like your calmness. Thank you. Uh, Whitby, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. The bot's just about finished for the moment. Not even. That right there is what we came for. Barrel core seam. Did I take all of the construction bots? There's one here, and wait, let me double check how many I've got. There should be 50 all up. I don't know where they could have gone. We've got 29 construction bots, and one in the robo network. That's a little strange. I, I normally would be carrying 50. What the heck happened? Well, regardless, let's get some more solar panels. It really won't matter in the long run, but still. A little bit concerning. These solar panels are already a significant fraction of the surface of this entire planet.
let's just place ourselves over here. Some bots got hung up at the first solar build. I don't see them on the map. Oh, these are construction bots. That's a lot more than one. Okay, I think we found them. 21 over there. And I think I had 29, probably, right? That's weird. I think it... Maybe they were in, like, a roboport that wasn't charged. And we just got caught up with enough energy to turn it around. Probably. Turned away for a bit, not sure if you got this, but do you set up smelting at each mining site or a specific train station that smelts the metals? Uh, I don't set up smelting at the mine, no. I don't like uh, the process of setting up mines and stuff. That's why I've got a blueprint that I can just paste all over the mine and it gets done. Uh, but the smelting happens somewhere else. Brick layer, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If the robo port have has no electricity, that's the issue. Yeah. The thing is, though, I was like mousing over, looking at the count of construction bots, and it said just one. But then I go over here, place some more solar panels, and then I look back and I see 20, 20 construction bots rushing out to build rail. I think there must have been, like, a roboport on the edge that wasn't powered, I guess. And it just didn't count the bots. Which leads to some interesting problems that could happen if you are adding bots based on bot count. Alright, let's grab some more panels. Um, where did I put... That makes a lot of sense. Uh, except we want to make sure this cargo landing pad is called Exorian landing pad. Okay, cool. I hope I didn't just very, very quickly get a rocket sent to the wrong place. Come to think of it, I don't think we have any automatic supply. Oh, is this it? Gibil. Yeah, this is pointed at Gibil. We do have automatic supply here. Okay, cool. Do I pour another drink, go to bed, keep watching, or start up Factorio? Uh, yes. Yes, indeed. I'm gonna need the substations, actually. Let's grab the rest of the solar. And speaking of which, I... Probably will need a short break relatively soon. Perfect answer. Thank you. How much power do we have? Uh, not enough still, apparently. Well, we are trying to charge a bunch of media defense installations, and we have an umbrella. So, that doesn't help. What's the day-night cycle like on this planet? Uh, 1.32 minutes. Okay, yeah, I think the low ratio of... Accumulators makes a lot of sense. Look at that.
Oh, and we actually placed all of these already? Why does it... Oh, it's the accumulators that are not charged. Writing a programming language and chatting in coffee breaks. Writing a... Like, making a new language? Alright, can we actually start charging stuff? 12... Looks like 14%. I want to see how much charge the cannons have by the time the solar panels start losing power. Yeah, we're, we probably have enough now. If they can charge one quarter during the day, I think they'll get fully charged. Are you mostly going for solar because you set up the needs on other planets? The needs? Python syntax Java? Fascinating. I don't know what you mean by the needs, but I kind of just threw the solar panels in because I had them this time. Um, it'll be a relatively small outburst regardless. But I think this time I'll use some gas power stations. Um, I'll just... I, I actually should have thought of this ages ago, when we had too much petroleum on Granis. Well, my first instinct was to barrel it and send it back to Hagen, because at the time uh, we had trouble with petroleum on Hagen. Not anymore, not since we got... Uh, what is it called? Uh, coal filtration. Uh, from heavy oil... No, from crude oil. We do the heavy oil recipe. And we get coal and we get petroleum. Which is exactly what we needed. Um, uh, but yeah. Uh, other than that, what I should have thought of back here... Is we can actually burn petroleum with the, um... Uh... with the gas power stations, and I could easily just fit them here. It wouldn't even be the slightest inconvenience. Um, is the sun coming up now? Fantastic. Yep, these are going to get charged. Cool, cool, cool. Nuclear doesn't work on a waterless planet. I mean, it does, especially when you have turbines, uh, sorry, uh, condenser turbines. You just have to send ice, and we need to do that anyway. Okay. Um, how many of these storage chests could I make? Got 4.8k steel. Uh, how many are I missing? 89. Oh yeah, it's really not that much. Well, it's it's kind of a bit much. Let's do it anyway. I want to make this blueprint. You know what? Those chests over there are probably overkill. In fact, I'm sure we hit overkill on the storage um, well before that. Pink pajamas, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, we're going to need some blue chests, purple chests. Passive chests. Uh, 
Wait a sec. This is probably different, isn't it? This was a one-off. After I realized I didn't want to send... Uh, sand back. I wanted to send it as glass. Uh, which is actually full, by the way. Our crushed imasite rocket isn't getting sent. Apparently because we have enough back at home. Uh, yep, it is ready to launch. I didn't expect to see that so soon. Here it is, crushed imasite and glass. Wait, what? Oh. Is this why? That makes a lot of sense. Because I didn't change this one filter. Oh, there's your problem. So once that empties, it'll send another rocket. Cool, cool, cool. Um, but yeah, we don't necessarily... So this is... Um, this is for like a secondary... output. I think I'll do the same on this planet though, because we've got raw imasite here. Um, exactly what we did on Gibbil. We're going to need a buffer warehouse and a requester warehouse. And don't tell me that's the end of my concrete. Oh no. How do we make concrete? We need water. We're going to have to get water sent here anyway. Gonna remove that. Copy it to both of these. Um, and I'd like to copy this, but make it generic. Default, perfect, fantastic. Let's just double check we did the same thing over here. Great. Logistic network contents, plus this, times negative one. And here's a bunch of stuff we're asking for. Cool. So that is... I'm just going to call it unnamed landing pen. Put this on default. And you know what, I'll just call this default. Okay. I think we're about ready. To make a blueprint out of this. It'll be enough to save us some work next time, regardless. Remove those, remove those. And what would be a good symbol for an outpost? Maybe signal transmitter? Actually, let me just go with this one. 86251. Train stop names. Should be fine. That seems as good a start as any. 
Why does it change this from 25 to 24? Okay, that seems a good. I'll just put this down here for now. Why don't you do an autocrafter at the outpost? I might. Don't really be bothered right now. Um, so we're gonna need how many more chests? 34, 4, and 1. Uh oh. And one passive. And I can't make the Wester Warehouse right now. Okay. We need some vanilla train stops. We need another requester up here for the ammo. Got these things charged, but they don't have any shots. Oh, let's see how low the accumulator charge gets. Pretty low, as it turns out. Why is this the first I'm seeing of accumulator being used? on this graph. Alright, we definitely need some more power. I think... well, let's see where we can get some oil. Uh, can we get... yeah, 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 there's some oil. Way over there. Less than a million for like a quarter of the planet. That could end up being a problem. Uh, in fact, at this rate, I don't know if we can even use all of our pump jacks. Huh. That is not what I was expecting. I mean, crude oil is right down there, but even so, I, I, I literally just can't see. Oh, here's like 107k. That is pitiful. I think we're going to run out of oil. Time for water rocket? Yeah. I need that for the oil regardless. But uh, let's go have a peek over here, see exactly how much we can get. That's it? That's like half the oil on the planet? Truly is not a whole lot. Maybe I'll even do core fragment processing and just scrap most of it so that we can get vanilla core fragments for an infinite supply of oil. So that um, even though it'll get slow, we'll, event we'll at least have something. Definitely. Maybe we can get to spaceships before the oil runs out. I have my doubts. Uh, let's do an underground there. Probably a good spot to use a steel underground pipe over here.
that's really awkward. What about this side? And is so small. Uh, that's actually a good fit. And we'll need. Oh, I still have more solar panels. That's good. Uh, we can't quite cover all of this. Let's do a big pole. Substation. I guess we could do our oil... I think last time we did our oil processing block close to the mall. Yeah, don't see why not. Apart from all of this iron we could be mining, but whatever. We've got practically infinite iron all over the place, as far as this outpost is concerned. Uh, let's grab that oil block. I can remember where it is. There we go, basic oil. Other construction bots are on the case. Um, we will want to grab solid fuel to feed the trains. That looks good. Also want to make some gas power stations. Well, I don't know. Okay, well it's definitely better than venting the excess to consume it for power. But it's not like I can save make the oil last longer by saving the petroleum that we can't spend on anything else. Uh, where's my solar panel thing? There we go. Liquid hail, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We go out box. Still got like 200 solar panels left. Let's keep going up this way. Are we out of substations? We are not. out of solar panels though. Oh, we are out of solar panels now. Okay. Alright. And I need a few accumulators for 
checking how much power we've got. But that said, uh, it seemed like they were struggling. Well, I think it wasn't accumulated capacity was the reason we were struggling to get through the night, though. Looks like we're doing fine now. Either way, a bit more capacity is not a bad thing. a lot of accumulators to place. There we go. Three more. And I'll keep the stack handy. Second thought, get rid of these ones until I'm out of solar panels. Close enough. Okay. What's next? If, do I have any more Robo ports? I do not. I should have some on my person. I've got one. Probably should have brought some more Robo ports. Um, let's get rid of this. And just expand. Well, I was going to expand this down here to get, get the bots to do it, but this seems easier actually. We'll also need a drop off for ice, which, where is it? By drop off, I mean landing pad. Where are we getting our ice from on this planet? It's a mystery. Let's do a search. Water, ice. In storage. Nothing found. Okay. Uh, how about water? Wait, was that a ghost? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's not a waterless planet. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, let's steal from Granis then. In that case. Because I think... What the heck is that? Oh, it's a coal mine. Fair enough. Uh, this is what I was looking for. I'll have to make some more robo-ports. In fact, these don't go far enough. There's probably some crashed cargo rocket stuff over here somewhere. Not that I can find it right now. Also, could we get rid of those ghosts pretty please? There we go. The more ghosts you have, the more... The more time it takes for the bots to react. So we really don't want to leave those lying around. Anyway, let's a copy paste to this one, and I think right about here we'll do just fine. That's the thing you ain't. Ain't what? Do I have more rail? Surely, surely we've got rail. Yeah. Oh, the water, yeah, 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 the ice. 
Uh, give me a cargo landing pad. Where, where is it? It's around here somewhere. Or... Oh, there it is. I was just about to give up and use the search. So this is called... Ice. And we're going to go back to Hagen. For a second there, I was going to say Nalvis. But I caught it well ahead of time this time. And we're going to do any landing pad with name. That's going to send ice. Come to think of it, I wonder how it works with filling up the cargo rocket for fuel. Because... Normally you select the destination and the required fuel changes. Uh, did we not bring chemical plants? We did not bring chemical plants. I'm going to have to make a bunch of those. Uh, please tell me we brought glass. I don't think we did. Okay. All right. Glass. We need sand. I think I have a pulverizer right here. And we definitely have a bunch of stone. Um, let's make her another requester. Just use the weapon delivery cannon using nukes. Oh god. Yeah. I heard it got nerfed compared to last uh, update. Need the Nalvis rocket? Well, it's going to be a while before it's got a decent amount of stuff in it. Since we fixed the, uh, the rail system. I could request less solar, but... How's our copper? Still zero. Let me just check that we do, in fact, have... Oh, fragment. Why is it stopped now? This is why I don't want to bother with Nalvis anymore. I actually don't know. Um... Stone is full. Rare is full. I see trains moving. Rare resource, uh, rare metals, full. Well, basically full. We're asking for forty k. We've got seventeen k, so they should be delivering it here. Isn't this the exact same problem I found before? Forty k raw rare metals. Request tech threshold 80. We have 17,000. So 23,000 over 50 is 460 stacks. Uh, it's low priority, but it's a high priority pickup. Provide tech threshold 80. Are the trains all stuck? No? Well, there's... Okay, all of the cargo wagons are busy. That might be why. I guess the negative priority on the requester takes precedence over the massive priority on the pickup? Maybe? Oh. Apparently it's all still working, just badly. And eventually they'll pick up the rare metals. What about stone? Do I have one for stone? Um, I don't think so. Oh, it's this one. 
Yeah, I think I should make this one stone. I never expected to be overflowing on stone, but here we are. Stone. Negative 40k. And... That doesn't need a filter. Did I change it the same way over here? I don't think so. In fact, where does that go? Oh, it's going to make sand. Oh, no. Uh, I take it back. Don't bring stone over here. So anyway, now this. Uh, let's do a request chest. Need at least two more. And... Like so. And then we can get some glass. Which means... We can handcraft some chemical plants. How much do we need? Not a whole lot. It's just limited to one stack on the off chance we find ourselves needing stone. Not enough trains? Yeah. Alright, we need some pipe as well. And how many chem plants do we need over here? We did bring some, just not enough. Uh, another 14 would be good. I also need a couple of fuel refineries. Should really automate this. Let's go back to the mall for a sec. Uh, let's see. Then stack back to ground. About the same. Okay. Next is uh, we need a depot. Do I want to put the depot? Not here because there's some oil. It's only kind of in the way, actually. Let's just remove that signal. Make it 
nice and neat. And I guess I'll do a pick up over here. More rail. Oh, I just realized how much of that's going to get replaced when I put the blueprint down. Uh, I could just put the depot somewhere else. Nah, it's fine. Let's get a onesie and a twosie. And we'll figure out the rest from there. Uh, this still has those tiny mistakes that were bugging me from before. Should really update that blueprint. That's actually correct. Oh, you know what I should have done? If I'm going to do the auto crafter, is do it when I made that blueprint. Oh well. Is that stone or iridium you're building over? It is stone. 13 million stone. To be precise. Well, I guess it's not that precise. I'm actually get rid of that bit of straight rail. There we go. a lot of building to do. Uh, and we're going to be requesting solid fuel because we can make it out of petroleum. And we're going to end up with too much petroleum whether we like it or not. Just check that I've got all of them. I think I do. I think I've got like 20... yeah, 29. Let's grab the rest. If I can find them. That's four. 13. We're four short. That's okay. Alright. How much uh, uranium fuel cell do I still- wow. It's a lot. It takes a really long time to go through these. Portable nuclear reactor is basically just infinite, functionally. Just the, like, 
three, four rail blocks here takes up a significant chunk of the whole planet. Wow. This rock's going to be more trouble than it's worth, is what I would say if we're not getting a new type of uh, resource. My first target planet is approximate is appropriately named Anvil. Indeed. Uh, Trotsky, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Obviously, don't need stone here. Yeah, not really. Although we did forget to bring glass, so that that's something. Um, I should probably just put a pickup station for oil. Where are my stations? Oh, don't tell me we're out of stations. Didn't I bring 50? Is that not enough? Did we not learn? Uh, yeah, we still need like 16 logistic train stops. That's a bit of a pain. That's 10. I hate building over resource patches, no matter how little I need that said resource. Yeah, I agree. Nothing for it, unfortunately. Can't really avoid it. The Cryonite on Hagen is particularly bad for that. There's just so much of it everywhere um and until we get like kind of late game and start using cryonite to make um uh to make thermo fluid more quickly what is happening here oh. 12k what's the stack size for this 20. That is 600 stacks, and we can fit 640 plus 96 stacks. LTN, why are you like this? I really don't understand. Um, alright, so... Why don't we just, like, cut that in half, I guess. Zaiden, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, are we resupplied? I think so. Dropping off our logistic train stops, but first I want to put this one down so that we can definitely lay out our oil. I can't really fit the huge tank. We don't really need it anyway. Let's just do it like this, I guess. Or maybe... No, that's not gonna work. This is the wonkiest train station. Uh, it'll do. Those two should stay about equal. I guess I could make sure they're connected as well. Just to be sure. Alright, request a station. No, provider. The opposite of requester. Really care about the train length, I guess. 50k. Give us a substation. And. Power this one as well. Fantastic. 
I never got LTN to work for long before it breaks, so I threw it away. The default settings are really bad. Um, they really are like a trap. Immo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, let's get some iron. Because... That'll reduce how much... Oh, no. Oh, I just fell for no reason. Okay, cool. Uh, if we're mining iron here, it'll reduce how much we need to send. Significantly. What am I looking for? I think I should probably take a break in a sec. My brain is kaput. Uh, but let's put a lazy mine... Right about here, perhaps. Get our highway over this way. And like so. I need a whole lot more red belt, that's why I'm putting together an iron mine. But we need the belt for the mine. Let's just steal some of the iron that we brought with us. Apparently we're out. Really. Um, I wasn't expecting that. How much iron did we take? 2.5k. Maybe that's not enough. But you're telling me I already used 2.5k iron for handcrafting? Really? Really, really? That doesn't sound right. I made a bit of pipe. Oh, it wasn't just handcrafting. We auto-crafted some pipe. But still, 2.5k? Um, all right, in that case, I'll just get it started a little bit manually. Um, we're going to need some power here. And I'll do the signaling later. We do have some of the drills going straight into... Uh, the big containers. This is slower than I thought it would be. Because I'm not used to, like, only a handful of drills working. Let's drop off our iron over here. I mean, this is why I don't bring that much iron. There's so much of it available. But still... Uh, and I wanted red belt. Iron gear... Yeah, I'll just set up a whole production chain. Uh, yellow belt... Gear... Single cylinder engine. Which also needs iron gear. Just gear and transport belt to upgrade them. This is kind of in the wrong spot. This needs iron plate as well. And this also needs nothing. some robot, robot coverage, there we go, and I 
think I'll just handcraft the difference for all this other stuff. Alright, we need to go pick up our iron then. Fantastic. And as soon as we get a bit of red belt, um, well, I need a train. Oh, wait. I can get in there. Uh, I need some trains sorted out to automatically bring the iron up. single cylinder. Oh, this is... there we go. What are those train stations? Uh, bulk rail loaders and unloaders? They do just what they say on the tin. Mizuzi, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so where's that? Oh, this is backward. There we go. Alright, I have loaders, I don't have undergrounds, but it was easy. So we just bottlenecked on this now. What's next? Lots and lots of red belt. Let's remove the windmills, or at least the ghosts, that's the main thing. Why have I only got two fast transport belt still? I should just use blues. That's get this over with. Uh, got plenty of blue belt. Down we go. I don't have so much that I want to use it for the depots, but we can at least get this working. There we go. How do you make an item-specific deconstruction planner? Uh, right-click on it and start clicking under where it says filters. And from there it's not too difficult. We need like 14 chemical plants still, right? We get some more glass. Fantastic. I think we're not going to need at least, uh, at least we're probably not going to need like double blocks of oil refineries and uh, the liquid rocket fuel production on this planet because there's not that much oil to be got, and the amount of liquid rocket fuel we need to get off this tiny bowl is not going to be so much. So, as much as things are a little slow at the moment, uh, there's not a whole lot that we need to do here. Compared to the usual. That said, uh, I should hurry up and get rail going over to the oil. What's the difference here? I can't tell. I 
don't actually want to use the big round gun, so I just wanted to measure it. That's looking pretty good. And I like this. There's, there's no center. Okay, good. Fantastic. Uh, and a bit of the old rail down here. Or maybe not quite like that. Um, in fact, this should just connect over here. Check in on that additional vulcanite processing block you made a few hours ago. Uh, okay. It is missing a lot of pulverizers because pulverizers have a very small stack size. So it's going to take a few trips to build that. Also, I was going to drop the priority on that one because we don't have as much in terms of prod module. Quest priority negative one. Oh. Isn't 12k what I requested for four fragments for Cryonite? And LTN oversupplied it? Yeah, it was. Uh, so let's drop this by 50%. Be fine. Although, I've never seen them get stuck here, oddly enough. Okay. There goes our construction train again, I think. And how's our iron? We already ran out of the ore. Let's go get some more ore. Fantastic. Why can't I get this? There we go. Bots are trying to steal my iron. Can't let that happen. No, stop. And it's a gone. Here we go. Cool. So that's like 3k iron. That's more than we left with. Uh, and I was going to do a pickup station. Let's head over there. Went too far south. Huge storage tank. Where the hell is my rail? Right here. And... Right. Uh, I guess right about here. None of this is powered yet. Yes, that's not surprising. There we go. But don't forget to connect this. Really? Okay. Okay, I see how it is. Um, actually can't connect all three of the... Wait, what? We had all three connected. What the hell? What? 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 Alright, that's more like it. And wire goes here. This is crude oil provider. Fantastic. 
fantastic. Let's get this uh, our network expanded. Why are we deleting rocks? Oh, probably because of when I placed the roundabout before. Right, so that should be oil. Fantastic. Back we go. And... And what? You know what? I might just not have a train deliver this water since it's right here. And I think there's a pretty good chance that we won't need another one of these on this planet. And if I'm wrong, we can easily have the train deliver to the other oil block. Not a big deal. Let's get some more rail. All of it, please. We need a lot of signals, gonna have to automate that. Um, I'll just do a quick copy-paste of what we already have over here. Come to think of it, I think I'm holding on to all of the assembly machines. And another requester. Fantastic. Yet another thing that we need iron for. Uh, it looks like we've done most of the actual belt here. It's just undergrounds that are left. So it's not as bad as I thought. This is totally unnecessary. We can use short trains here. And... Nothing but solid fuel, please. Exactly how many red undergrounds are we looking for? Uh, 220. That's more than I thought. So that is... Uh, 44? Wait, what? 220 times 5. Uh, 1100 red belt. Plus a bit more iron on top of that. That's gonna take a minute. Maybe I really should just make it blue. Feels bad, but... I've only got 914 express belt. 96 underneath these. Yeah, that's not going to cut it. Okay. I think now's a perfect time to take a little break. Uh, I've been needing it 
for a while. And we want to let some production happen in the meantime. I'm just going to go grab a little bit more iron first. And... That as well. That'll definitely keep it going for more than long enough. And let's jump back to Hagen with the LTN screen set. Oh, we need to get our construction train back here again. Inactivity. There we go. Okay. LTN screensaver, and let's fire up some words on stream. There we go. All right. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Fantastic. All right, one more and then back to space exploration. Okay, nicely done. Let's uh, continue, shall we? Uh, right after this finishes up, there we go. Let's pause that. And back to the game. Alright, so, what have we got? Um, presumably not that much red belt just yet. We have a bunch of signals, though. That's not nothing. Um, I think I will turn off my RoboPod. Be a little selective about where we put these fast underground belts for now. Extra radar for south side of base seems like a good idea. Down here? Yeah, definitely. Uh, what's happened to research? It's probably just slow. What are we missing? Energy science. Which... We've got plenty of, um... Catalogs. We're actually missing SIG data, which is missing energy. Nope, it is just slow. It's just very slow, actually. Oh, right. I should probably change this up a little bit. Because we've saved up tons and tons of energy catalogs. Uh, let's see. Energy catalog. Why not just one at a time? Which, of course, makes the bots bring six. It's fine, as long as most of them are still available to the robot network. Um, I'm okay with that. So now our bottleneck is making energy insight, at least for a while. Uh, D-Host, Triple X Poser, Crazy Heather, good to see you again. RB Puck as well, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Okay. Um, uh, so I was going to go manually place some of these undergrounds. That seems unnecessary. Uh, now that I look at it. Oh, right. The train could park anywhere. 
I guess I'll just manually feed it for the moment. Priestess of the Quill, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I will need one up here as well. On second thought, um, whatever. I was going to say these are totally unnecessary. Uh, let's get a train started. And it's going to be... Maybe I should have just copy-pasted it from here. Default color, go to depot. That's pretty easy to copy. Wait for inactivity. Uh, we've got some rocket fuel we can give it for the moment. And... And what? We need a whole lot more signals. We should have a few. We do not. I'm thinking I should put down some more smelters, at least for the moment. Um, how about over here? And... Substation. And... Provide a chest. Okay, what are we missing? Loaders? Oh, right. Alright, so that doubles our iron. Uh, five per second. That's not as much as I thought it would be. How much more do I need to get things functional around here? Okay, that's a lot. What I should have made is one of the longer trains first. Let's give that one some fuel and go. Doesn't have a path because we've got random missing signals. Would have been better if we had no signals. I should probably stop bothering uh, with this for the moment and just get some signals as fast as we can. There we go. simply remove the signals for the moment, but that's a whole extra bunch of work to put, put them back. Why are we... what? I'm not clear on why it thinks we've got too many signals there. But regardless, we can make another 20. Most of these have been placed now. Uh, we just need like... 57. Clear that path. Approximately. Okay. Anything else we could be doing in the meantime? How about we look back at Hagen, get that second Vulcanite build finished eventually. And 
and this one is Vulcanite Core Fragments. Uh, processing, that is. This one's kind of off to the side. Let's fix it. That's a little bit better. Uh, and we've got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we should be able to f finish this next time. Except for the modules. Very, very good. Just to see all of these Vulcanite blocks. Although, really, it's just because both of them are slightly below the train threshold. But as long as our throughput increases. And we'll have to remember to have a peek back there again shortly. Why? Okay, how is it that I've only got five chain signal? Oh, right. Dub. That would probably help. So all of the chain signals in range of this robot network have been built, it looks like. Is this not... Oh, I see. Still doesn't connect. Okay. Uh, let's go place some signals. Fantastic. And there goes the train. Without a moment's hesitation. Wow. I'm actually shocked at how quickly that got there. Let's go place some more. Things are accelerating. That's another 50 signals. Let's go get our depots finished, if we can. We don't need this one. There we go. That looks a bit tidier. Just about getting close to not having to place signals. Not really. I should probably request more at a time. At least for now. Just give give me all of them. Whoops. Alright, we got 120. Uh where's my rail? Don't tell me we're out of rail. Well, that's easily remedied. Uh, there's actually quite a bit left. But I think we're kind of cutting it close. Fantastic. Alright, we'll need some signaling. 
Uh, I've actually got way more signaling than we need already. That'll be fine. So, oil is available for pickup. Uh, we don't actually have a fluid wagon yet. Now listen, only can see barely anything with my glasses. Wait, what? Do you have a train depot build? Yes, I do. It's this, uh, swirly thing up here. Are we still good for quality? Dropped frame 604, but that's over five hours. Just double check real quick. Ten eighty P source No, looks good. Alright, cool. Alright. Uh what else are we doing? Or signals. Do we still need signals? We need less than a hundred. Okay. Let's calm down on this gigantic request. Wait, what? I thought I changed it. I did. Oh, have I set it up so that... Okay. That should be fine. So that auto trash doesn't overwrite when I do that. Underground's belt? Yeah, I'd still need a few of those. Girlfriend took my glasses to clean them for me. Oh, I see. That's nice. Um... What are we doing? Uh, we need the red belt. We have a stash of iron now. Nope. Still bottlenecked on five per second. So how much iron goes into this? 5.5. .5. So we can do 90% of... We can do 0 0.9 fast belt per second. And we need... Uh, let's see. 194 undergrounds. That's a lot. I have all of the regrets. But I don't really feel like trimming this back down instead. Um, let's get a fluid wagon in motion. And let's put some tags on the map so we know which depot is which. There we go. Fluid wagon. Uh, let me just copy-paste, or use the blueprint, rather, so we have the color and everything. Give it some fuel, and away you go. Glasses are one of the unfair things in the world, definitely. I don't need glasses, but I would take robo eyes. Okay. So hopefully we can run our trains until we have all that iron. 
I didn't bring any speed modules, so I can't... Well, we could do another pair of these. 50% faster. It's going to be a little bit awkward. You know what? How about we do this? Can't flip it. And then, like so. None of this should be necessary. I should have just brought more iron in the first place. Products finished. 200 on these two, 70 on these two. So like 540. So if I'd brought like twice as much iron, it would have been all over. Well, there's our iron coming in anyway. Uh, so that's 7.5 iron per second, which should be able to keep this going not at full speed because I didn't consider the prerequisites, actually. But it'll get us there quite a bit faster. What should we focus on in the meantime? I should build out... Our liquid rocket fuel. Do we not have this here? Do I have enough? We printed it. All right, let's grab it from Granis. This one looks a bit not standard. Let's grab this one instead. And before we do that, add a standard rail block down here. Fantastic. Don't need any red belts for this one. We might have to build some more rail though. If you subtract 43 from each center and absolute position in the corner, blueprint, something cozy will happen. What do you mean by cozy? Uh, Vlad, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If I didn't say so earlier, I definitely remember a blue name. Huge storage tanks and atmospheric condensers. I think I'll just let the bots bring me the storage tanks. Where are the condensers? Here they are. Literally all of them. How much rail do we have left? 4.3k, we should be fine. Fantastic. I didn't bring any efficiency modules. This is going to cost five times more power than it otherwise would. Four, five, six. And go pick up some more stuff. It's the end of your straight highway. Uh, what is... Crude oil incoming. Fantastic. Okay. Wait. Oh, I haven't made the construction train yet. Let's do that. Actually, do I have a blueprint? 
I think I made like a temporary one. Yeah, here it is. Why don't I put that in here? Uh, how about RoboPod? Or Vehicle RoboPod? To show what this is about. Um, you know what, let me build it over here. So we can bring it into the station. And have the, have the station recognize that it is where it is supposed to be. Basically, it makes the railbot corner snapping much more intuitive. Okay. I prepare Vulcanite science. Nice, nice. That's a nice milestone. Uh, we've got another 200 red belt here. And there's something down here I forgot to place. M subhuman, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's see. I think this is built except for the efficiency modules that we probably honestly need. Uh, doesn't look too bad. On second thought, we're kind of not getting to the point where our accumulators are full anymore. Uh, which reminds me. Gas. Oh, let me have a look at Hagen, where we built these before. Gas power plants. Uh, can consume six per second. That's not a whole lot. Considering that they can produce 4.5 megawatts? Um, that's really not a lot. Okay. I brought multi-cylinder engines, I believe. Make this easier. I didn't bring them? I thought I brought them so I could handcraft trains. That was space, wasn't it? That was the orbital base. Yeah, there's 2,000 multi-cylinder engines back there. Um, what are we missing? It's just nothing but iron. Oh, good. That resource that we're really, really short on. That's nice. Um... But I think I should probably... 20 multi-cylinder engines for one gas. Well... We're getting 184 megawatts as is. And just one of these can give us... It's only 4.5 each. That's not as good as I thought. It's not on the same scale as I thought. But we'll eventually need to um, consume the extra petroleum regardless. So we may as well use it for power. Um, did we not We're still making signals? Where are they? Oh, they're going to the train. Which is asking for quite a few signals, actually. 
It's almost finished. I'll just leave it. We still have some panels left. 600. That's not... That, that is not a small amount of panels. Let's grab them. Okay. Wait, I see 300 iron plate. How did that happen? Are we caught up? That shouldn't be possible, should it? I'm not complaining if that's how it is. Well, let's go play some solar panels before we overdo. How is there no ammo here still? Okay. Good to know. Uh, at least... At least no meteors hit us. In the meanwhile. Just pick up these accumulators again. Grab that solar panel blueprint and go ham a little bit. Fantastic. Still got quite a few left. 600 is about double a column, it looks like. need a handful of accumulators in the end, though. I've got four left. Okay. Uh, I'll probably end up borrowing some from over here. Then again, four coal mining drills. That's 100 megawatts. Uh, we'll find out soon how much power we've got to spare, but it's not that much right now. Why am I still holding these cargo rocket sections? There we go. You know what? You can go ahead and make more glass. We should be getting close to having all of the undergrounds we're looking for. Uh, that's not quite enough. I need a bunch more inserters as well. Only two more undergrounds here. And then 122. Okay, we need how many inserters? 41. It's not too bad. But handcrafting inserters, I forgot what a nightmare it is. Also, I want to get a bit more concrete. Why are there four of these here? There should be... Did I, like, copy-paste that wrong? Yeah, I think so. But not today, it was earlier that I copy-pasted it wrong. Space capsule, get in there. Maybe. 
maybe I'm doing a bit too much handcrafting. No, almost all of that is inserters. Okay. I should really just make a smaller version of these depots next time. How's our liquid rocket fuel? Missing iron plate. Because we don't have the requester warehouse, that's why. It's actually trying to pick up iron plate right now. Um, can I get some concrete together? Let's see. Concrete. Sand, stone, iron stick. Stone brick, rather. Can we not make stone brick here? Huh. Industrial furnaces can't make stone brick. I did not realize that. I do have a little bit of stone brick. How much do we need? Literally just 100 concrete. So... 100 sand, 50 stone brick, like 35 short. Let's make an old fashioned furnace. After a million other handcrafts, apparently. Where did it go? And we need some stone brick. And we need some fuel. We have coal. I don't want to waste rocket fuel on this. I found that brick problem too a while ago. I'm almost 100% certain that they used to be able to. Used to be able to what? Used to be able to... Oh yeah, the industrial furnaces. Yeah, I think last version they could. Let me just make a box for sand, I guess. And we're actually most of the way to having our stone bricks. Alright, let's go place... I could use fast inserters up here, but that would be ridiculous. Not sure if it's intentional or not. We may never know. Alright, iron stick. And... We need like... 20 more stone brick. That's going to be, what, is it 15 or... yeah. 1.3 more recipes. And then we'll have our concrete. Beautiful. Oh, and I put in just enough stone as well. Uh, give me that concrete. Concrete was always something I would forget to bring on Outpost's last playthrough as well. Um, we needed it to make centrifuges, and often we'd need just one centrifuge, and we didn't have enough. Seventeen... It's intentional. There's a separation of kiln and smelting recipes, and the industrial furnace is unable to do kiln recipes. I believe the description says something to that effect. Baker staunch? 
Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can use advanced smelting and metallurgy recipes, but not kiln recipes. Well, there you go. Can use smelting and kiln recipes. That's it. And that's our 100... Uh, what? Oh, I need some steel, that's all. Don't scare me like that. Okay, can we put off these inserters for just a minute? And this will be faster. Do the inserters after that. Uh, our Logi bots are... No, there's only three of them active. They're not bringing me something or other. Is it iron? We've got plenty of iron now. That's weird. That's a little strange. Alright, what else are we doing? Still need a lot of undergrounds. And I would say a lot of yellow inserters, but only because this is K2 and handcrafting them is a nightmare. Let's check on Hagen and... What are we m still missing here? Oh, it's mostly... Uh, modules. We still haven't seen any more Vulcanite delivered here. I'm pretty sure it... Yeah, it's a lower priority, that's why. Uh, maybe I should change that? How much... What's our throughput like for Vulcanite blocks? Block. Uh, I need a larger view. Vulcanite block. Oh, it's actually sort of consistent. Uh, but overall, we're looking at about 390 per minute. That's less than two stacks. That's not great. I think the only... I think it's only a uh, pyroflux that I set as a higher priority. We've got plenty of pyroflux right now. This is not generally a good way to set things up, but I think I'll get rid of the priority difference between those two because I really do want to get some tier 3 prod modules. Um, and let's get the last of those pulverizers in place. Which, come to think of it, represents most of the throughput, uh, in a way, that this block can do. Did I not activate this yet? I did. So this one's empty. So I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. It just means we're now going to bottleneck on the actual Vulcanite blocks we're providing as opposed to processing. Which means we're going to have to work harder with cargo rocket sections to keep up, but not that much harder. Uh, oh hey! Our train has delivered iron now. Fantastic. So that is... Missing a couple of inserters. Okay. Where am I going? There we go. There's the first of our solid rocket fuel for this planet. And... Uh, 
as the first of our liquid rocket fuel for this planet. Nice. Could we make efficiency modules without too much hassle? Electronic components are the real headache. Uh, probably. Electronic components... We'd have to make plastic, and we need silica. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. Uh, maybe I should have just sent another rocket over here. How's our power? It's hard to say because we're... Oh, it's actually really, really good right now. We're, we're hitting maximum... We've got like a hundred megawatt to spare and we're hitting max charge halfway through the day. Cool. Um, I want to put down some gas power. How fast can we produce here? 204. That would be if we're cracking as well. Let's pretend we're not. 84 petroleum per second, but I think these only consume 6. So I would actually need... Uh, 14. I'm sure I can fit 14 of these here, but not elegantly. <laughs> 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh wait, they can touch each other, right? Like that? Could maybe move that one. How many is that? 11, 12, 13, yeah, this is, why don't I just put it off to the side? It's not going to be very neat this way. So we're going to have underground pipe, and I want a pump just for decision making. And we're going to say... Um, Two hundred K times this. Fifteen. Three million. <laughs> okay. Uh, if petroleum... Greater than 270,000. I was going to do a red wire just to this one, but this is fine too. Uh, if we're more than 90% full on petroleum, pump fuel through to gas power. The thing is, though, um, even if we make theoretically enough uh, gas power stations to consume all of the excess. I think if we have enough power, that's not actually going to happen. So we'd need a flare stack as well. Um, but I think I'll just put the flare stack like at the other end after the gas power stations. Seems a good. How about like this, and like this, and do we have a flare stack? We can make one. And I think that'll do. Just like that. Alright, 
We've got quite a while till this fills up, but still. I think I will automate... We've done this before. Uh, 40 cylinders. a lot of iron actually. Cool. Let's stop this nonsense. Uh, and we'll need an output. I guess I won't skip the flare stack right now. So this needs iron, this needs iron, this needs iron. Copy paste. Fast underground. Wow, okay, that's that's a lot more in crafting than I was expecting. Uh how about some of this and a sum of this and you can stop there. Oh, but the requester has this here. And inserters. Oh, I should have just done this to start with. It's so much. Let's, let's stick and gear. There we go. We need how many parts per inserter? Just the one. Small electric automation core. Definitely bringing more iron next time. And... Uh, more yellow inserters, some electronic components perhaps, if not just the tier 1 efficiencies themselves. Already got 30k liquid rocket fuel, so that's not too bad. I just realized we haven't even started core mining, but that's okay. It really doesn't take long to fill up stacks of core mining. Let's put this here, I guess. Limit that to 40 stacks each time. I wonder if LTN understands that the space cargo wagons have a bigger capacity. I hope so. Uh, we're gonna need an accumulator. To decide if we should stop. And... 
substation pylon over this way. Uh, and I just realized with the way our roundabouts are, we should do it like this. There we go. I think you need to tell Altium that they are bigger. I have no experience with it yet. Mm -mm. Uh, accumulator charge is, incre is decreasing, actually. Alright, so this is a standard pickup uh, barrel core fragments. I totally forgot why we were here. Uh, long trains only for this one, I think. And then we've got one, two, three. They're all very, very close. It knows without any extra input. Nice. Again, Chef. Thanks for letting us know, and a welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome also. Um, and let's copy this. Uh, probably here is fine. Accumulator greater than eighty percent, and rail like so. If it's coming off the roundabout, uh, we don't need a separate connector. Fantastic. Wait, what? Oh, yep, that's fine. Uh, and then up here. Let's just copy this again. Actually, I want left side. I mean, right side. I mean, right side. Like this, I think. Let's go build it. Uh, I'm not actually carrying any core drills. But there's just one more to place. I think four will be fine for now. More than enough. Highway over this way. Where's the drill? Oh, we went past it. And... I'm thinking we just do it something like this. Didn't actually copy-paste. This one. That lines up perfectly. Okay. Let's go get some more rail. And two drills. And... Parts. I still have to do a bunch of handcrafting for inserters. Uh, what was the other thing? Where's our drills? There we go. I was trying to make uh, underground belts. Oh yeah. Let's pick up... That's a lot of single cylinder engines already. And what was the other thing? 
multi-cylinder? Why don't we have multi-cylinder? Probably because of this. And I did this backward. Okay. That's a bit faster. We're going to need some of the old electricity. And over here. I meant to get rail, that's it. This might not be enough. Yatu Watu, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. saw you for sale at the black market in my other XCOM save that is ever since I added you as a character I was a bit surprised all right that's all of our barrel core fragments that should be flying pretty close to the sun in terms of how much power we've got to spare Or maybe we're already making it inefficient because we're trying to use too many drills. Uh, let's see. 20 times 80 times 2. 3,200. Barrel core fragments. I should be able to make more. That's only 13. That might be enough inserter parts for now. We'll see. See how many inserters we still have to place. we actually get the inserters done? I think we did. There we go. Just one stack of red undergrounds. And we'll have this blueprint finished. Okay. So I'm waiting on some multi-cylinder engines so that we can make these faster. I guess I could remote control, make some gas power plants after we leave. Can't really get efficiency modules without a lot of steps. Uh, maybe I should just do it. We've already got the stone and sand here. How do we make, um, silicon? Components need... Wait, what? Plastic, stone, and water electronic components? You what? <laughs> what? That is an advanced assembly machine. Okay. Uh, plastic, glass, silicon. We've got the glass, we don't have plastic. I could finagle together a bit of plastic uh, easily enough. Um, the silicon, we've got the glass. Silicon has to be quartz first, right? So we, we smelt the quartz. We need water and sand for the quartz filtration plant. I guess that's not that much to throw together, but just a little bit. Filtration plant. I need glass, because of course. One of our trains is out of fuel. Yep, 
It's way down here. I'm guessing we haven't got any of that solid fuel delivered yet. Let's do that ourselves. That's actually quite a lot already. Oh! Um, I think that was supposed to be... Wait, what? What? Where? Yeah, no, that's... That's right. It looks a bit different from usual, but we're pushing it all to the front. And this is how much we've actually got. Okay. That's uh, quite a bit. Put that in our trash for the moment. And I want to drop off some of this in here. And some of this in depot number two. There go our underground belties. And that's it. They're done. Beautiful. Where's this um steel chest? that we haven't built. What even... Huh? Oh. What? what? That shouldn't even be there, I don't think. Oh, I think that was from when I was testing it. Probably. Alright, cool. That's our depot is done. Let's go refuel that train. And then we'll have a filtration plant ready. Refuel the back first. And we can ride this back. Beautiful. Although I quite like the sushi belt version of that I came up with because we're going to be recycling um, battery packs for the space trains. That would actually mean that every train here is going to be able to get fuel, even if there was a small amount, if it waits here long enough. What's that supposed to be? A vanilla train stop? Let's do our filtration plant over here. And... Uh, we're making ports. Bring over some sand. How much do we need in order to drastically reduce the energy cost here? Well, the main thing is to get uh, 12 of these into the fuel refineries. But let's see. Five electronic components per efficiency module. And two silicon per... Oh, four electronic components comes from two. So it's like half. We need how many efficiency modules? 150 if we want them all. So 150 times five divided by two, about 375. That's not that much. So we get the quartz, uh, we get maybe some stone, no, not like that. Oh, I just got, I just barely managed to save five stone, 
perfect. Uh, and then take the quartz, turn it into silicon. And... I need one more chemical plant. Why do I have some... Oh, I remember. I thought I was going to do, do double builds for the oil stuff, but one is probably enough on this planet. That's why I have so many refineries. Uh, I need some more stone brick to make chemical plant, to make plastic, so that we can Is this in the robot network? It kind of is. Uh, so that we can make electronic components. Plastic. Do we have any more roboports? I don't think so. I have one on me. Oh, that, that works. Okay, I need a couple of requester chests at least. And provider. And some inventory space. Coal goes here, it's on the way. Uh, sand goes in here. And provider for silicon. And I think that's everything. Components and efficiency. And we'll need some copper cables as well. Okay. Copper cable. Requester number one million. Fantastic. How much copper do we have? 2.1k. But we don't have an income for it. Uh, we're also going to need some electronic components in here. How are you fueling that stone furnace? Uh, the one I just put 50 solid fuel in. I don't know if that'll be enough for all of the silicon we need. It might be. Actually. Okay. And plastic... Plastic is getting made. Very, very good. So silicon check, plastic check, glass check, and electronic circuits, copper check. Uh, why are the components not made yet? Because there's no requester for the other stuff. Why don't I do it this way? Because there's no room if I want the direct inserter for the glass. There we go. Okay. That should get us our efficiency modules. And 
what about this multi-cylinder engines we left cooking a while ago? That should get us at least a couple. Of gas power stations? We need steel beams. There we go. those until we've placed this many. Right then, so we've got our liquid rocket fuel, right? Yep, very much so. Uh, now we just need to set up automatic supply from Hagen. And that's just going to be kind of a copy-paste extension of uh, this stuff. Oh, maybe not like that. Maybe not like that. There we go. And I'm thinking... Well... Didn't I end up just using the one drop-off? Yeah. So we don't actually need another station here. Well, we do for the liquid rocket fuel, I guess. I don't really want more than eight of these in the one block. Um, if we can fit that well, it would be a small miracle. Let's get our construction train to pay us a visit. How about over here? Looks like there's not a whole lot of traffic down there. Inactivity, two minutes. Wait, that's not two minutes. And we want... I don't think I'm going to be able to fit this here. At least not in the same way I've been doing it. Yeah, no, that's not possible. I'll just double check that these are the same length. I'm pretty sure that's the middle. Yeah, it is. Oh, the middle is down one. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I don't suppose that's going to mean this will fit. Uh, not without moving that stuff. Um, I could do. Uh, why not? Do our fuel input like that. We'll need another cargo rocket silo. Do I really want to do it this way? I really haven't done like a big symmetrical build here. We, we built this one to start with. And we've just been expanding it. It's fine, I guess. I could always just steal liquid rocket fuel from one of the other ones. 
This one's for Grenners, that's sort of a higher priority. And these two uh, are going to be about equal, I guess. So I could literally just do it like that. And let's get a dish over here. Um, and then we need all that logic again. That's going to be fun to replicate without physically being there. Oh, actually. The layout's exactly the same. This time. Let's get a substation down here. And... Just copy all of that, honestly. Except that... Okay, it didn't copy settings for the cargo rocket silo, which is good, but it's actually got um, all of the wire connections to it. I wasn't expecting that. So I think this is already set up correctly, uh, except this should be set... Wait, what? Why are we even putting this stuff in here? Just want to reset the timer on that. Why is it even... It's channel default. Oh, is it actually... This is on channel default, so, so it's already working. Alright, the planet is called Exorion. E-X-O-R-R. Exorion... what were the other ones called? Multi-rocket requests. Cool. And back on Hagen. That should be putting all the same stuff into the cargo rocket silo as it was a second ago. Oh. That was easier than expected. These guys have nowhere to go because cargo wagon is full. Yeah, it's this one. Once the train goes back, they'll sort themselves out. Alright, so... Once we get a few more... There we go. Uh, this should be set to... Destination... Exorion. Uh... should just be called Exorian Landing Pad. Or how about the mall? Keep consistent with what we've done before. Exorion Mall. Launch on Green Signal or Cargo Fall. When do we get the green signal? When it's full? I think that was an oversight. Launch on green signal when fuel full, is what that was supposed to say. Uh, but I guess it works either way. I could have removed this combinator, I think. Green signal or when cargo full. E equals zero green signal. So that would be launch when cargo full. Uh, and this other condition is if we've got a hundred space capsules in here as well as this one, just launch. Don't wait for another condition. 
so I'm pretty sure we can just remove that one and use green signal or cargo full. I'll have to get the construction train back in there. might have taken one more iteration, one more cycle, to really fix up those bots as well, so that's kind of handy. So once this fills up with the cargo rocket, packed cargo rocket sections, ammo, and whatever else, um, that will send a rocket. make a few more. Should have thrown that steel away. Oh, we've got four already I haven't placed. Slow craft is slow. Uh, we need another six of these to theoretically keep up with the excess petroleum later on so as not to waste it. Cool. Looks like this mine is way faster than our furnaces. Power is back, indeed. Did your power go somewhere? Uh, how's our power here? Oh, the accumulated during the night is spiky because of, uh, because of the drills turning off. That makes sense. Once they're full again. Had an outage for a while. Unfortunate. Okay, let's get one, two, three of these. And we need six to finish the whole thing. Cool. We are nearing the end. Well, I was going to say we're nearing the end of our time here, but... I also want to get the raw imasite. There's actually quite a lot for such a small planet, and it's really easily accessible. So just like we did on... was it Gibil? Uh, we're gonna make at least one step, or two steps rather, kind of. Uh, we're gonna break it down to crushed imasite and glass, and send that back to... I didn't say Nalvis. Uh, we're going to send that back to Hagen. Also, yeah, it wasn't just because I messed up with the glass earlier. We really are finished. Oh, well, not finished. Uh, we really are backed up sending crushed inner side back. That's... We're actually filling that rocket and getting it ready to launch again faster than this is outputting 45 items per second. Fascinating. I mean, I don't really mind if it's a little bit slow. We are getting... We are getting that from a finite source. Um, so it's not that big of a deal. Sending glass and crushed emocyte in one rocket, yes. Yeah, so the way I'm doing that is, uh, well, obviously we take the raw, we crush it, uh, we take the sand, we glass it, LTN brings it back over here, and I'm just dropping it off into the same station, putting it straight into the rocket. 
And away it goes. Uh, on the other side, I just have a couple of filters. Um, glass goes here, down this way. Wait, what? Oh, that's the trash output. Well, not trash, it's everything that has to go back to the mole. Uh, Immersite goes here, glass goes here, and the glass is a high priority pickup. Um, because it's a side product of the Immersite, basically. So we're trying to get rid of the glass so that we can keep the Immersite moving. Is there anything you're shipping with cargo capsules? Uh, yes. So most of my outposts, what I'm sending is... Uh, I think we stopped sending steel. Iron, I should probably start using ingots for that. Um, media defense installation ammo. And packed cargo rocket sections. Also space capsules. Um, and the way I'm deciding how much I'm sending of each is the old... It's happening across the void with a signal receiver, but other than that, it's quite simple. Um, we just subtract what we've already got, so anything in this cargo landing pad and or in the logistic network, times negative one, and then a positive for what we want um, and I'm looking for like 500 stacks of packed I think that's 500 stacks of media defense installation ammo and I believe that's half of a cargo rocket of iron plate um, not sure why I changed that maybe because we're getting iron from here I don't know um, and 100 space capsules I've actually so the idea is once the cargo rocket fills with any combination of these, it'll launch. Um, but I, I created an exception so that we would send the rocket if it has 100 space capsules in it without waiting. Because otherwise we could end up just never sending a rocket here so that we could send these ones back. But you're sending it with rocket. I meant the delivery cannons. Uh, I'm not using any delivery cannons at the moment, actually, except for Nalvis, if it's still working, is sending back a trickle of these resources back to Hagen, or to Hagen. Gambr Gambrinus, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, but yeah, I think Nalvis has been busted for a while. Oh, not quite busted. Uh, core fragment processing is still working, it seems. But uh, we've always got some trains that are stuck. And I'm not sure why. Why is coal not getting... What are we supposed to do with coal, actually? I saw coal on this belt earlier, but it doesn't seem to... Oh, so coal does get crushed. So why isn't this crushing it? Huh? Oh, this is... Oh, this is a pickup, right. I'm not sure how... Oh, this is the old system where we stop pushing it to the front if there's a train. But that doesn't really work. Um, let's remove that. And put this here, and if there's 2,000 coal in the back. We can push it to the front. And that'll work while the train is there. Hey, Dardano. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How goes the factory? Pretty well. Um, I took a... Well, not a little break. Uh, I took a break from designing some space stuff. Uh, and we went to Exorion to get our first barrel core fragments. And we're almost finished outposting. Um, I say almost. Uh, it's not strictly need, but I still want to set up 
raw emesite mines, and that'll need some processing on this end to not get a really, really bad stack density. Uh, we're going to process, uh, process it to crushed emesite and glass. Is this guy stuck? Yeah, yeah, I didn't put that station quite far enough to the left. Okay, um... What if we did it like this, and don't bother with that signal, do it like this, and this, and don't bother with any of this. Just this once though. Get over there. And get rid of this. Alright, I want to see if this train... Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Uh, I want to see if it can come over here and find its way out again. Sweet, indeed. I'm curious, did you leave the K2 setting for oil to be finite? Uh, I did. If I'd realized that was a setting, I probably would have turned it off. But we're dealing with it. It just means we'll have to get um, oil core fragments. Which are not that big of a headache, to be honest. Alright, that is working. Alright, let's uh, let's see who's streaming the old Factorio. We'll be continuing this tomorrow and the day after. Forgot oil fragments were a thing, indeed. Uh, Cyclo is streaming. I haven't raided him in a minute. Let's do that. Unless... Um, I think we'll, we'll try someone we haven't tried tomorrow, perhaps. I don't think oil will be a problem either way. Those fields are gigantic. Yeah, they do run out though, and I, I'm not a fan. Is that... Is that a mining drill that's like 100 by 100 tiles or something? Okay. Alright. Uh, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions... Oh, hello. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And until tomorrow, stay safe. Take care, Data Gnome, Midden, everyone else. Thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you next time. I think it's like some 60,000 war a second, which is like just insane. Even if you were to just train load that shit, it's crazy. T-Hacks. <laughs> just, uh, just, uh...